Oh, everybody. Thank you, thank you for coming to our show on Friday. Thank you, thank you. Live. Friday, baby, yeah. From my basement. You know how it is. Friday, baby. It is Friday, baby. You know how the late shows go live from New York, New York City. Uh, or may, I guess that's SNL, but we go live from my basement. <laughs> from halfway underground. Live from my nuclear fallout shelter, this is H3 After Dark. Woo! Friday, baby, yeah! It's also not even dark outside. It's not dark, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody, for joining us. How's everybody's Friday going? You know, I'm feeling sore from yesterday. Uh, I had a brutal workout. I'm sore too. We're both exercising. Yeah. And I kind of like being sore though. Like it's yeah, I don't an mind accomplishment. It. Well, sometimes it's a pain. Like sometimes my legs yeah. are so sore I can't get up. Yeah. That I don't like. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I'm sticking to it, people. I'm sticking to it. And I'll tell you what, fr- Friday, thank you. Friday's my cheat day. And I'm skipping breakfast because I know I'm going to get into some trouble later. I appreciate that. I think you're, you're you doing do? it right. Yeah. Thank you. I deserve fried chickens. Fuck you. Because I know it's my cheat day, so hey, let's just be reasonable here. I'm not yeah. trying to fuck my whole life up. We're also going on a date tonight. Yo, show your nails. Ela came out here like, damn, look at this shit. Oh, she oh, ne- she has never got, got her nails done. I keep looking at myself and I'm like, I don't recognize this hand. Pink hair, pink uh, hands. I don't know. Whoa! I like it. I think you look good. Yeah, I think it looks good. It's like, I feel like your whole life you have this idea of like who you are and things you would never do. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm not one of those nail person. Yeah, I know, I know. But exactly I was like... Mean. It's so stupid. Like, I kind of want to try everything that I usually said I wouldn't do. Well, you're on the hair game, and your hair looks fucking awesome. And the vibe, I feel like you just have good vibes since you started messing with your hair. I like it. You're having more fun. Yeah. You're confident. You're on yeah. Instagram. Posting Got a vibe. Those, like, well, also, it's like I've, I've always felt like I my hair was so boring, and I'm all about color. Mm-hmm. But I always thought that wasn't me. I don't know why. Mm. And... Now I'm having so much fun. It's like I'm all about color. Why? Mm. Why haven't I got a vibe? Right. Got a vibe. Vibe check. Ela passed the vibe check today. You do too. Stop it. Got a vibe. I feel like everyone's lying to me when they tell me I'm looking good. No. I'm still fat. We're not. Nobody's lying. I mean, but you're doing it right, and it is happening. So So I think that's the best thing ever. Because if it was happening when you were doing like starvation challenge starvation Ke- challenge Zach's keto i then i was worried because it's like okay but what happens when you go back to normal <laughs> yeah but I'm, daddy mm? i don't know i'm scared i'm scared because i have this raging food addiction and i'm gonna lose the weight but like i'm still gonna have the addiction do you understand what i'm saying but even just acknowledging it i think is already progress oh i've been acknowledging it for years <laughs> mm. Well, anyway, I think there's progress happening. There's progress for sure. Um, speaking of, oh well, so actually, you guys, by popular demand, you guys know how I told the story of my trainer saying "money, baby" as I was collapsed on the floor. Well, yesterday I actually got him to say it for for a TikTok. So, by popular demand, here is my trainer saying "money" to me. <laughs> okay, guys, this is what a fat idiot who smokes looks like after an hour of exercise. Money, Ethan. <laughs> Thank you, dude. It's money. You guys hear that? Okay, guys. This is well, what a, fa- this what a fat idiot. You got what you wanted. Money, Ethan. <laughs> is he still totally out of the uh, loop on the the fact that well, he's been I, mentioned well, on the show? I don't know if he's not letting on all the way. Because mm. the first day he was saying money about everything, and then after I made it, he pretty much stopped saying money. Yeah. So I think money he must have seen it, and he's playing a little coy with me. Because yeah. I was like, "Yo, I told this." Because I was like, "I told this story on tick uh, on the show about how um, you were you were just saying money, and I was like just a corpse on the floor, and I <laughs> thought it was funny." So I told him, you know, because he doesn't say money anymore. Money, Ethan. Yeah, now we got the soundbite. <laughs> Thank you for that soundbite. You're welcome, Zach. Just for you. Can I? I want to show you something. 
Ela. Yeah. And I do this with peace and love, of course. Yeah. Oh, this isn't what I wanted to show you, but it's on my computer screen. This is something that showed up on my homepage. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's just some homie. This is... Oh, he's got some hardcore hip hop. I mean, this is just, he looks, he's got a face like one of those dogs. There's a dog that has the exact right. same face. <laughs> I feel like he's English. Do you guys know what I mean? <laughs> That's racist. I kind of think I know what you mean. You know, do you know what I mean? Uh, he must be English. Anyway, he just has one video, and no it got four point. It's he just said made one video. He has four point four million views. Wow, really? Yeah, because everyone's like, whoa. Wow. And I had the same reaction when it was on my homepage. You know. That's crazy, and amazing. Thanos. Someone says he looks like Thanos. Yeah. Hmm. He's, He's more like Mr. Magoo, man. It's reminding me. Of an alien Mr. from Magoo. something, but I, I can't put my finger on um, what it is exactly. My thumb after a very long bath. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. He's just trying to put himself out there on TikTok, having a vibe. It's a great TikTok. <laughs> yeah, everyone's waiting for number two. He already got 50,000 followers. He's probably like, what? Anyway, that's not what I wanted to show you. What I did want to show you is, okay, you know Zac Efron is, right? Heartthrob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you find, think he's handsome? Here, I'll show you. Zac Efron, han the heartthrob. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, he's handsome. I'm not going to argue that he's not handsome. You fuck Zac Efron. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Let's you think he's a good lover? I can't tell. Is Zac Efron a good lover? I don't know anything about him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Right you think he's a tender lover or no? I don't know Thank you. I got a call. Him. Thank you, Dan. Okay, well, the point is, is that he got some kind of plastic. And I say this with peace and love again because, you know, I'm not, I know people get plastic surgery. It's a personal thing and it's a choice. And, I, you know, whatever you want to do to make yourself feel good, God bless. But <clears throat> he got plastic surgery. And, it's, huh. and I just don't know, man. I just. Wait, so what did he do? I don't know. I don't know what he did, but he got he did something, right? Yeah. It looks like his jaw's swollen. <clears throat> but he looks like one of those plastic surgery memes, kind of. Oh, yeah. The lips? It he looks did like, like a... someone else now. He's reminding me. I don't know <clears throat> who, though. I can't put the name. Chin, jaw, and D-lips? What is D-lips? I'm, so, I'm sorry, and lips. <laughs> yeah, he did something to his lips and jaw. But I just, I was like, ah. Looks so different. You know, I saw him recently in a Netflix documentary. He was looking at his handsome, usual self. But, man, I don't know. He looks I, more like Zach Travolta now. Zach Travolta? I guess my point is, is that. I mean, are we sure <clears throat> that's real? Are we sure this is real? Yeah. What? Dan sent it to me. Uh, Ian, but um, <clears throat> Ian, it was, it was all over. It was like all over Twitter. Oh, this is all over Twitter, so people are having kind of oh, a similar right. reaction. Yeah. yeah, it's trending uh, on Twitter. Poor guy. I feel bad for him actually, because first of all, you don't do this unless you're like deeply insecure about your looks, right? So like, he obviously had some kind of issue with his physical appearance. I don't know what, because he's like perfect face. But yeah, now he's I mean, gonna. He was always known as like the perfect um, face guy, good looking guy. You know? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> So he was obviously really insecure, and now everyone's clowning him on Twitter. Let me pull up those tweets. Now I'm really curious to see what people are saying. Why, me too. Um, let's see. Twitter search, Zac Efron. But this just goes to show you, man, handsome, beautiful people. This guy, oh, no, he looks like Shrek. No. <laughs> well, not like Ogre not Shrek, it, handsome people. Shrek. Handsome Shrek. No. He does look like a CGI character. He looks like handsome I Shrek. It. I'd kill it to look like a handsome Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> so this is him before the I mean, surgery. That's great. I don't yeah, that, any, that, I don't see any issues. Well, of course, only he sees it. That's the problem. That's but what I'm I saying. But I guess I should relate because I'm like that. I see a million issues in myself all the time. Zac Efron. That's not him, but you get the point. That's what he's going towards. Twitter is but so the, mean. Yeah, oh yeah, br brutal, ruthless, bro. Squidward. Yeah. 
Zac Efron, why? <laughs> They're not happy. But the po I guess the point is that I'm trying to make is that, you know, just be happy with what you got, people, because if Zac Efron's insecure to the point of mangling his face like this, then you just got to work it. Don't worry. Holy and, crap. guys, I just I really want people to understand that plastic surgery never helps. It never helps. It, ne it only makes you look weird. In your opinion. Let's not say it like and, it's a fact. And you don't. <laughs> in your opinion. When it works well, you don't notice it, is the thing. Okay. I guess, I guess there are some minor things people do. That, For sure. Uh, I don't know. Once you start doing, like, face lips and, 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 and filler, it's like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I like people that age gracefully. I think it yeah, always looks better. Yeah, but what if you don't think that you age gracefully? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. He clearly didn't think he was aging gracefully. Okay, Ethan. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> oh, anyway. yeah, Rob Lowe. That, I think that's what I was trying to think of. Oh, yeah, Rob uh, Lowe. Yeah. He, that. Does, he does look kind of like him now. Totally. Rob Lowe. See, that, yeah, and Rob Lowe. You fuck with Rob Lowe, right? No He's a handsome dude. If I, would, I mean, I don't like saying if I would fuck someone. Okay, you're attracted. I'm though. married. Yeah, okay. You're husband. married to me. <laughs> what are all these images? Can someone find me Rob Lowe? Seems like after? a normal... I'm, I'm going to come. But you, you find him attractive. I do, too. Yeah. I'd fuck him. <laughs> you can watch if you want. Okay. Right. Why don't we try to be more family friendly? <laughs> off, like, we just started the show. Why even say the F word? Family friendly? What, who are we making this for? Eight year olds? <clears throat> so, eight year olds watching this. <laughs> Wait, this doesn't look that bad. There's got to be better photos than this. Yeah, on the right side, one's before, one's after. Uh, this photo's weird. Well, what is this one on the right? <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> this comparison shot? What the, the worst fuck? Thing I've ever seen. Right. <clears throat> AB, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. <clears throat> <laughs> what am I supposed to take away from this? <laughs> He's basically he telling him before you were a weirdo. You don't have a better one than and that? And now he's a stone guy from the 70s. Um, <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> today, there's a big-ass bombshell article about Jake Paul and Team 10. <clears throat> I just want to say, not bombshell, I read it. It is an interesting, though. Interesting read. Hey, look, we'll put bombshell on the top. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, well, it kind of, it, it's a bomb. I felt like it was kind of a bombshell. Really? Like, it, it's from the perspective of this 13-year-old boy who, Greg Paul, by the way, his dad, Jake's dad got funny. involved to convince the parents it was going to be okay. Greg Paul, by the way, is outside in a van fucking the friends. And this 13-year-old was, like, sleeping on the floor, did, didn't have food, did was wish, sharing rooms um, with Olivia, his girlfriend. At, she was, like, 19 at, at the time. I did wish that they would have touched on that, but they didn't in the article. What do you mean? About the dad GPs having up. Uh, oh, well, they mentioned allegations it. about him. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Because all that, I mean, that is, even though we saw the video, you never actually see anybody's face in that video. It's all... I don't think it's completely provable. Well, you don't know who the girl is. It's definitely but even, Greg. But... Even just what we've seen of him participating in that kissing video. I, oh, that's a good point. That that, that should that could have been included. In yeah, public. I agree. GP Greg Paul, the fact you. that he's involved in any capacity with these guys. Yeah. Oh, he was 14, and apparently he says when he was 14, he had sex with like a 24-year-old, and he's like kind of traumatized about it now. Well, Jesus. Are we gonna talk yeah. about it now? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get into it. But the point is. Oh, was, I'm sorry. It was Alyssa Violet, who he was she, sharing a room with. Like, weird. She's like 10 years older. A girl, too. Anyway, um, I'm going to talk about that. And then the author, Taylor Lorenz, right? That is correct. Is calling in to discuss. So that's fun. Exciting. From the New York Times, people. We're moving up in the world. Moving on up. So she's going to be calling in a little bit later. I actually have a lot of... I'm really curious about... Uh, a lot of the stuff That's in this. some um, impressive stuff to be talking to a New York Times. Dude, look at us. Look at us. We are not effing around. We are. I'm saying F now because I'm trying to be friendly. friendly <laughs> Thank you. In respect to the New York Times. <laughs> so we got that scoop. Um, <clears throat> do you guys find this weird? I, I Actually, I'm going to talk about all this stuff next up. But there's one more thing that came across my desk this morning. 
and I, I understand he's doing a good thing, right? Like, it's cool. Prisoners are people, and, you know, they often are, are overlooked as others in our society and the way they're treated. But Jake Paul, here, I'm just going to play. So he's singing to, like, 20... That is not Jake Paul. Justin Fuck, Bieber. my brain does not work today. <laughs> Justin Bieber, clearly Justin Bieber. I was confused what you were talking about. <laughs> You, Ethan, you have to make your words make sense for the show to work. <laughs> this is a verbal Somebody show. stop me. Justin Bieber singing I'm So Lonely to like 20 prisoners. Thoughts? What's your problem? It's just like, why so... He's like, damn, you trying to get these guys to kill themselves or what? Listen to this. What? Wow. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely, lonely, lonely. <laughs> he's like, all right, see you guys. <laughs> well, maybe they... Maybe they identify with it or something. I don't know. You're just hating. Yeah, I could be just hating. That's why I wanted to ask you guys. I doubt they care. Listen, I'm totally open to me being a fucking hater. I mean, that's why I'm bringing it up for discussion. <laughs> I think it's a nice thing. I mean, hey, I would like a I think it's depressing. live show like that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he thinks it's depressing, he says. I mean, anything in prison is depressing. Yeah, they're probably vibing, though. It's probably an emotional experience for them. Yeah. I'm so lonely. Maybe a different song, though. It's a beautiful song. Maybe baby, 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 baby. Uh, baby. Uh, oh, or what was the really yummy. cringe one? Oh. Yummy, About yummy. <laughs> You're not listening. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Friday, I baby. Joke yeah. And you missed it. I'm sorry. My brain and now is we're scrambled. Gonna move no, on you tell me. Because the joke wasn't that good. No, tell me now. I said they should sing about the, the peaches one that's trending with the I get my weed from California. I heard that. Okay. It wasn't a, is it a joke though? I mean, it's just a, a suggestion for a song. <laughs> Am I missing the joke? I mean, and they're in prison. Oh, be, yeah, but weed is legal now. Come on. If he was like, I smoke meth, I went to jail for smoking meth. Okay, but it doesn't have a song like that. <laughs> yeah, the one about criminality. Okay, I get it. I get my meth from California, yeah, that's shit. I get my meth from Bakersfield, yeah, that's shit, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Johnny Cash famously went to a prison and sang songs about yeah, committing crimes and stuff. Yeah, so. I thought awesome. that was cool. Uh, listen, okay, let's let's move on, shall let's we? Start over. <laughs> Friday, let's restart. Baby, yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome to the HB Podcast. Coming at you. Friday, Do you have a sponsor baby. today? We don't. Oh, well, uh -huh. perfect timing to mention my beautiful, capable wife, who has just released <laughs> TeddyFresh.com. Head on over to TeddyFresh.com to beep our new release. Stuff is moving fast. This quilted hoodie already sold out. That was fucking some next level shit, man. Oh, we got hot. the flames. We got the we got some t-shirt. The Earth Day shirt sold out. This one's still that here. Is hot. We love this shirt. Coming at you. Hey, coming at you live. We got all <laughs> these shirts. All right, go to TeddyFresh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we talked about the Jake Paul fight in our previous episode, but we didn't have time to get to a lot of the great stuff from it that I wanted to talk about, like Pete Savinson moments, and then Jake Paul talking about the fight afterwards on Impulsive with his dad, Greg, who's the most embarrassing person alive. If you, you know how I have like some issues with my dad? I love my dad. He watches the show, so peace and love to him. But if Greg Paul was my dad, I would fucking move to like rural. I would like change my identity. I would change my last GP's name. GP's up. So your dad is not that bad. Oh, my God. My dad is... I thank God my dad is my dad. <laughs> Thanks to the Paul brothers. We have new appreciations. It's GP coming at you. It could always be worse. You know, my, one thing my dad used to say, which is true, he says, if you, could put, if you could put all your problems in a hat and take out new problems, you would want your own back at the end of the day. Hmm. And I've always th wow. throughout my life reflected on that and been like, you know what? That's probably true. Did he make that up? Or? No, he heard it from someone. It's a nice one. He used to also say... I like it. He used to also say, um, when someone asks, how are you doing? You go, better... Uh, you would say, better than, uh, better than most, not as good as some. <laughs> Knowledge. Thank you, Ty. All right, let's watch I think this. you can just say, I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what fine means. I'm not great, I'm not bad. Right. Why you need so many words? 
So Pete Davidson, before the show, I was watching all this crap. He goes back in the locker room and asks Jake about his essay allegations, and they they cut out the whole audio. Um, Does it, has anyone actually heard it? Like, no. And to be honest, I I'm not a hundred percent convinced that's what it is. Well, yeah. well let's watch. But because then, how do you just cut out the audio? I assume that this was pre-recorded. Because I thought it was no, it was live. live. It was live, and you can tell afterwards. This was like so awkward. Well, here, watch it. Watch. You tell me what you think. Calm. Calm. Ready to explode. Can you crank yeah. it? Clear Adam. Thank you. But I'm good, bro. Yeah, you're I'm on. Good. You remind me of like uh, when Charlie Sheen when he went on his winning tirade. Like <laughs> everybody was just like, "Go off, dude. Go yeah. off." I didn't get that. He's very calm, but okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, what I was gonna ask you about? I was like, so how are you feeling? Like, so here they cut. Cut a lot. How you do? <laughs> Bro, you can't joke around about that. No, he said you can't joke around about that. Mm -hmm. Not, I'm not. No. I'm like, are you you good? Like, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Totally good. What's uh, popping with that? Nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's it. This whole interview is so awkward. Oh, after balls. All right. So weird. I was like watching this thing and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So, I just wonder if anyone did get to hear it because, like. How does it work technically? You have a kill you know? switch. Some, yeah. If you do a live, you can have a kill switch where you cut the audio. So they, it's like a delay. It's being broadcast on the delay, exactly. They so have the same thing on live radio. Like someone that was in charge of broad, broadcast immediately made the decision to cut it. I'm just yeah. yes. so curious yeah, about like what happened. Because they probably, because Triller, which Jake's is an investor in, and on the, this was like a huge story that everyone was talking about. So I'm sure they were like, okay, if anyone mentions mm -hmm. this, you kill you kill the audio. Okay. Yeah. They and do the same thing on live radio. Like, they have a kill switch where they can cut the audio. You hit a button and it retroactively dumps, like, the uh, last... It goes retroactive? X yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, we'll do it live. We could do it, but apparently we need some expensive equipment, right? Um, I haven't looked into it in a few... Because you asked me about it when I first started working for you. Um, but broadcast uh, gear has gotten a lot cheaper in the last few years because of all the streamers and everything so there may actually be a cheaper way to do it now the professional way to do it yeah that equipment is like 50 grand or something. yeah i remember i was like oh, wow. i was like yo if i say something like lot. really dumb can we just kill switch it and dan's like it costs 50 grand i was like ah fuck it i'd rather get canceled it's possible it's possible there's cheaper ways to do it now i, I haven't looked into it in a while I'll check it out Let's enjoy this interview though, because it's really. I was a boxer. Awful. The last thing I'd want is this right before I fought. Yeah, <laughs> you too. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, and then this, and then this guy, he goes, "The last thing I'd want is a bunch of people coming here to talk to you before I fought." It's like, okay, dude. Yeah, you you too. Yeah. 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 yeah, if I was a boxer, I feel like the last thing I'd want is motherfuckers coming in here asking me questions. Yeah. Oh, you guys are good. We were gonna keep it really light, like mostly like what's your favorite color? Um, yeah. <laughs> I can tell what it is. What do you think? <laughs> so, so now they, they we'll... proceed to have an actual conversation about what's your favorite color. Yeah. Bruh. Uh, we'll say it on, on three. It's his too. On three, think, guys. Yeah. Favorite color. I think it's yellow. Mm -hmm. No? No, no, no. Money? No, no, no. Yeah. Blue. Oh, man. Blue? Yeah. Blue. Is that the trailer colors? What is it? I also had questions about your robot. Blinding. Um, yeah, this is, it's just, it's just, it's a train wreck. Oh, it's really God. Bad. It's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard, man. And so, that was that. <clears throat> There's also images that were a meme of Jake stretching before the show, and maybe this is why he's so calm. But he's get, he gets down with some wild stretches. I don't even know what I'm looking at, frankly speaking. <laughs> They cut away to this at one point. Yeah. And he was just... That's his head right there. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. his legs. <laughs> right. Let's mm. get after it. Mm. Money, oh, baby. Like that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's me on the floor after exercising <laughs> for 10 minutes. Money, Ethan. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so so now you go to the after the fight. Jake Paul knocks out the out-of-shape boxer. We talked about that last episode. Mm -hmm. But this is when Jake Paul, now he's angry at Pete because Pete went to the other, to Ben's locker and was like, yo, I was just kissing up to Jake, but I fucking hate that guy. And <laughs> everybody hates yeah. him. And so Jake gets like seriously offended. I was confused on why is Pete there. 
and who hired him because it's like <laughs> well jake says he's the one that hired him <laughs> jake said it was his thing to have him on there it was I mean, so jake got owned <laughs> yeah for sure he got played <laughs> hard he got played yeah well what did he think like what what some some like actual respectable comedian is going to come here and just kiss his feet like i'm sorry bro yeah no known nah, savage it's, it's known <laughs> savage pete davidson yeah. Ian, do you have a problem with Pete Davidson? Because I see you calling him a savage, ironically, quite a bit. <laughs> it's a meme that Ian and I have been passing back and forth for years. What's it's the just savage meme? YouTube just, YouTube just constantly for a few months was recommending me Pete Davidson's savage compilations. I don't savage know moments. Did you watch yeah. any? No, I did not. Is he a savage? It's too savage for me. I savage. couldn't handle it. He's a big time savage. Hmm. Mm. Big savage. I don't know, know what I'm much doing. about him, honestly. So I'm kind of still learning. But I felt like it was pretty funny here. Yeah, he was keeping it real. Considering the situation, like it's not it's not easy to stay real like that. And um, I don't know. It was pretty funny. I agree. It was good that have someone to cast. The, like everybody's like thinking this. It, who's yeah, watching. exactly. I feel like it's what almost eighty percent of the people we're thinking and he actually said it yeah i mean i don't know maybe you can pull a compilation of savage moments from that night for us to watch but he was like <laughs> someone's for sure made it is it here oh some people yeah here it is you're right here let's watch this before we watch jake paul react to it savage Those moments things, guys you know seems really important uh you could tell how professional this event is by uh them having me here uh we are backstage at jake paul's dressing room or locker room if you want to call it that and uh you know today's a really wild day for boxing because it just shows you know how low is truly sunk uh, I think when today, he said that, I was like, wait, but who hired him? You have enough followers, <laughs> yeah, they, you can truly everyone. fucking do whatever yeah. you want. I mean, maybe PewDiePie will cure cancer, and Charlie D'Amelio will become a surgeon. Uh, who knows? Tonight, we have a bout between uh, Ben Askren, who I don't know who that is still, and I've been uh, reading up on him all week, and Jake Paul. And, uh, you know, they both suck, but, you know, at least somebody's going to get hurt. Now, back to you guys in the booth. Uh, some real announcers over there. Hello, sir. I don't know why he's shitting on Ben, though. I don't think Ben did anything wrong. Oh, he said maybe he he said he lost a bunch of money on him once, so he's got like a chip on his shoulder. Uh, I don't know. What are you doing? Go, what's your beef, Pete? I, I yeah. was about to ask you the same thing. I don't have a beef with you. You no, just said you he sucks. Tool in the other room. No, are I'm you just doing... hateful in well, real you, life, well, or you just play us on TV? No, you tweeted. I you did. said you you started the 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 beef. You said. Uh, oh great, I can't wait to be part of a show that has me commentating on yeah. it. So I immediately was like, what the fuck? Because nobody wants you to lose this. You know really? what I mean? You want me to win? Yeah, nobody wants to see Jake Paul win. I have to be nice. You have to understand I'm hosting. I have to okay. be nice in there. He has eight dudes standing around him yeah. with literally it's nothing kind of to lose. With nothing to lose. Yeah. And it's just you in here, so <laughs> yeah. it's actually a lot more safe. And I'm even my underwear, too. So I yeah. should make you feel right at home. Oh, that's great. I don't think it's in acting school. I just pretend you're in your underwear. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, believe okay. me, nobody wants uh, anything other than for you to, you know, knock this guy on his ass. Well, that, yeah, I'm going to appreciate that. I'm going to try to do that. Yeah. That would make me really happy. Yeah. How are you feeling, man? How do you uh, feel? That didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, bro. That was the worst showing of all time. Oh, man. Youth culture. That's true. Um, he kind of has this whole, like, following, so he thinks he can kind of do whatever he oh, here, wants. Oh, here. This is the... This and, is like, kind of... didn't he, like, get busted by the feds with, like, AKs and, like, yeah. a bunch of machine guns? Like, he why did. isn't he in jail? I think he's really violated the law. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Do you think Jake Paul is uh, Askren for it? Um, my kid, my to, kids are not watching. Oh, well, I yeah, can tell you, you that. You kind of have to kick his ass on behalf uh, of your kids. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you think uh, I, this is something that I wrote? I, I came very prepared. Okay. Do you think Jake Paul is a uh, Askren for it? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I wrote that. I've never heard that. Oh, so savage. Uh, that was a savage was moment. Really, for sure. I was really psyched to ask you that, and uh, I just said it out loud, and I'm very embarrassed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no man, I have zero beef with you at okay. all. I'm we're we're on your side. Totally. Nice. Yeah, I appreciate it. We all. Well, why don't you like Jake? Just because he's a douche. Well, I mean, uh, do you have an hour? I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's shoot, shoot. I, uh, I mean, he's not a good person. Uh, he's clearly, uh, you know, is not a good influence on any of the youth culture. That's true. Um, he kind of has this whole like following, so he thinks he can kind of do whatever he wants. 
Mm. And like, didn't he like get busted by the feds with like AKs? And, and like, also, a didn't he essay she- someone? Yes. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so Jake gets really pissed about this. <laughs> I want to see Jake Paul versus Pete Davidson. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mike, can you just so shut the fuck is, up for a minute? What is Mike doing there? I thought they Good were like, no, not friends anymore. No, I don't think they're not. No, they're still doing anymore. their thing. Apparently, he's flying out to Puerto Rico every week. I don't know, dude. The whole thing is weird. Didn't he just talk shit about Logan? He did? Yeah, yeah, he did. Can we talk on... about that? Wait. Mike. Wait. He... Go ahead, AB. He did on um, a podcast, but... They made up, but yeah, they were fighting on Twitter, going back and forth. But they always seem to fight and make up. Yeah, Mike's life is falling apart. Weird. I'm here for it. Weird, he got weird, dumped weird. by Sorry, Lana, was that? and there's like all this drama. It's pretty epic. We love to see it. Zach, right? Do we hate Mike here on this show? I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> he shits his gym shorts. We have it on good authority that he shits his gym shorts. Shits. His gym shorts. No, I don't wish anything <laughs> bad on Mike, but I do think he's a douche. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, can I fight that little piece of shit? Oh, my God. I'll listen, I'll, 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 who put him on the set? Wait, How is I'll, he here? He, he's GP. Put him <laughs> was, on hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll listen. I'll, 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 <laughs> he's not little. He's like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, I'll fuck him. Let's go. You fuck him? Uh, no, I'm going to fight. Let's go. <laughs> After I beat his ass, I'm a fucking savage. You got- so here is their white <laughs> trash. Their dad is the whitest trash person alive, <laughs> sitting here in his Oakleys, in his fucking, like, uh, you know, colorful lenses, backwards hat, sitting here, how he's going to unironically beat up Pete Davidson. His, and his shirt says, problem child, spelled wrong. That's your child, I'm by a the fucking way. savage. You that do problem, yeah, child, the problem child is that's yours. That's the result of your parenting, dude. <laughs> I'm like, a fucking let's savage. Let's appreciate the irony it. of that. Yeah. Oh, the Oakleys. It's just too perfect. Yeah. He's just the ultimate dude. Why do they let him on set? I just, I don't get it. GP's out. <laughs> hey, hackers. You guys are really good. You know, hacking is just an, a form of adult bullying. You got to pull that, Zach. Adult bullying. I'd rather speak yeah, up like and be wrong than be muffled the reference and be wrong. Talking about. Yeah, he got. Uh... i do it. Oh. Hey, man. Can, can we get security, man? <laughs> It's only GP water. GP coming at you. Oh. Mm. Fuck, Dale. <laughs> yeah, Pete Davidson, uh, I think he, he took the MVP. Spaz he took the MVP. I'm going to be honest with, with you. It was, um, well, I mean, there was a Well, Jake took the MVP. Okay, look, man, you got the MVP. Jake, Jake got the MVP. But there was a lot of people who were it, just not fans of the event. Yeah. And... and he, he spoke directly it. to those people. Mm-hmm. Those people mm-hmm. who, were ha- who were like, I don't want to see Saweetie. Why I see Jake were they watching if they weren't fans of the event? Jake, to you, make fun of are you. you really so fucking dumb? Like, <laughs> can you just not embrace your infamy? Like, you're the problem child. You know what I mean? Just embrace it. You should have someone like Pete David hosting your events every time. It makes it watchable, bearable. You know people don't nah, watch because they don't like tripping. you. That's the whole reason people even fucking tune in at all. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's your whole shtick. People want to exactly. see you, <laughs> exactly. Take their money and run fast. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, it was my idea to like have him as the host of the event. <laughs> he talked to me. He, he wants to do all of the rest of it. Fuck them. that guy. He won't do <laughs> shit. He won't, he, he, won't, he, won't, he won't ever be a part of one of those ever again. He fucked his shit up, bro. Bro, I was... I, Maybe so, he'll go to work for Dana White. So I was confused... Um, and I hate, and I hate, this is like the problem with like drama and shit, because it just brings everyone more clout. It brings him more clout. Well, he got, he got attention. clout, bro. He got clout. Exactly, but it's, it's like. Pete Davidson. He's, he's, he's famous. Oh my God. You, these guys can't get their fucking heads straight. Like, they do, he doesn't need clout. Clout. He's Pete Davidson. Bring him more clout. He doesn't need clout. He's famous. I There's a reason clout. he wanted him to host. So stupid. He's just on that clout train. Yeah. <laughs> Like Fucking he wants moron. your twelve-year-old fans <laughs> <Yeah>. anyway. <laughs> He's such a moron. So I might invent the clout pill. Just fuck that guy. Do you think he thought he was doing? I don't give a fuck what he thought his he was job. Doing. You get what I'm saying? Like maybe he was fuck. doing the roast. Bro, he said he. No, the shit he said is like shit you can't take back. Oh, uh, Okay, <laughs> I didn't hear what he said. So. I, I was confused how that was happening on your exactly. broadcast. No, exactly. That's that's that was the only thing. Exactly. Like, it was, like I'm gonna be honest with you. It was I need funny. That clout. <laughs> But the context of it didn't make any sense to me. I didn't know because Jake Ball hired him and he got owned. That was happening. Yeah, and I and when I spoke to him um, backstage, he really did seem like uh, enthralled by the whole. Th- like he was, um, what's shocked enthralled? that I guess 
you're a boxer just, that like uh, people care. He couldn't wrap his head around it. it. That, and that's what he was kind of like yeah, I mean, poking fun. You know, um, yeah, Pete Davidson was engaged to Ariana Grande. I don't think he needs clout from Jake Paul. <laughs> uh, man, the whole family is just so embarrassing. I need that clout. Um, here's more Jake Paul cringe from that, from that episode. On it the whole time. I don't, I don't care. Like, say what you want. Like, everyone said it. Everyone said it. But, like, I'm just, what a lot of people don't understand about me, and I think I proved it last night, is, like, I'm a real motherfucker. <laughs> like, I'm a real motherfucker. Like, I do all this social right. media shit. I'm on Disney Channel being a fool. I'm cringe shit. Blah blah blah, yeah yeah yeah. Jake Paul, the eight letter His name. Brain don't work ring good. Bells around the world that people. <laughs> I think, but nothing happens. <laughs> you guys think I'm dumb? Got a load of this guy talking. <laughs> Sounds like he's think, doing a DJ Khaled impression. Right. He's definitely putting on a, a weird. I come from the mud. Persona. But it's not good. It just sounds dumb. People hate on Maybe all the chains are cutting off the circulation yeah. on his brain. Funny, funny, funny. I keep thinking but about nothing When I fucking see you, I'm a real motherfucker and I'm going to fuck you up. All right. <laughs> and by the way, all these MMA fighters chirp. Dirt, 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 dirt. UFC dirt, dirt, Fight a real dirt, fighter, dirt. dude. Fuck about y'all. Suck my dick. I'm a real motherfucker. Dude, how about you fight a real boxer? <laughs> I'm a real motherfucker and I'm talking my shit. I'm talking my shit. On this motherfucking impulsive <laughs> podcast. Let's go. What the Let's fuck? Go but, wait, off. but here, here go what, did he go here's off? the thing I want to add though. You got a big fucking heart though. And a head. Your head is yeah. massive. Big your, head. Your head is huge. Yeah. Big head. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But like literally, I'm saying like, like the size of it. And but his, like his all too. these motherfuckers yeah. do this social media sh hoopla shit. <laughs> da da da. I could talk about you on camera. Twitter finger ass motherfuckers. Bro, I don't play that. I don't play that. Okay. We'll see. Oh man. We'll see you. <laughs> We'll Jake Paul has me he blocked on Twitter. He was tougher online way. until we spooked him in person. Twitter finger motherfuckers. <laughs> Greg. Oh, this is fantastic. God. I love this version of Jake. Yo, because you're right. I mean, listen, this is what people watch. People watch this. Trisha watches this. I can't forget Trisha. If she brings up Impulsive every fucking time. I say, this show? This is what you're talking about? No. Oh man, she's got to find something else. <laughs> but Greg, Greg Paul really uh, explains this family because they obviously have this horrible father figure that is just completely corrupted and rotted away the foundation of these young men. You know? I'm a fucking savage. Mm -hmm. You got to do it. That's their dad, man. I mean, damn, that is just bad. That's just, I feel bad for them. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's it. Up There's just a lot of good cringe stuff. Oh, people, there was lots wrong. of. of goofs on jake because he's like i'm a real motherfucker he started crying after he knocked out ben so there was all these really great memes like jake paul after beating a walmart cashier in his next fight <laughs> <laughs> jake paul after fighting everyone that isn't an actual boxer <laughs> that's the same meme. same meme the mma community after watching Askren get one punch by jake paul yeah Jake Paul's next opponent, that's Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern show. He's like three, five or something. He's really short. Oh, man. Jake Paul, after beating a 73-year-old arthritic <laughs> retired accountant in his next fight. This dude is high on Jake Paul's list of opponents. That's the rap who stopped the fight. Nah, you're, tri ah. you're tripping. The 0.1% of germs that Clorox misses. <laughs> kind of interesting observation. Yeah. How Jake Paul feels right now. <laughs> yeah, so that's that was kind of my opinion, too. You know, I'm not even going to lie. If he actually hires a real boxer in his prime, I will watch that. Mm -hmm. But any other shtick, I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I'm overseeing Jake beat up like used car salesmen who haven't fought <laughs> in 15 years. They built like me. When, Paul, when Ben weighed in, I was like, it, that, that's me. That's my body. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was saying. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so now we're speaking of Jake Paul. Let's talk about the New York Times article. Yeah. Uh, Taylor is in the lobby, by the way. I don't know if you want to okay. go over so, it first. Uh, I hope she's okay. got a we minute. Go over it yeah, first. I want to go over the article first. I have here. Okay. I'm going to read like my, my favorite highlights here from it. Um, so, Aaron, so this is mostly from the perspective of this um, 
who's who's a man now, Aaron Mitchell. Oh no, AJ. So it's this kid AJ who was there when he was fourteen. So it's mostly from his perspective. Aaron Mitchell's his dad said he was not very impressed with Jake. So I guess a little backstory. Yeah. This uh, 14-year-old boy was trying to make it as a musician. He had like 80,000 followers at the time on Instagram, and I guess Jake saw something in him, and so he like aggressively pursued him to join Team 10. Also, I, what I like is that the article, just to even give it a little more background, they take a look back at Team 10, and they say like how that was kind of like maybe not the first um, influencer kind of house thing but it was definitely the most popular one that kind of set right. off that trend and um so it was interesting to see them take a look back at it because i do remember it being so weird and it's like you know things must have gone wrong oh yeah with that house well it's, look at it now it's like it's, it's like yeah. everybody left bitterly they yeah. all left bitterly hating jake yeah <clears throat> so it was interesting to now being a little like few years after it see a serious article about it well i never even heard of this kid right <clears throat> but it sounds like in insanely uh well i'll read it they touch on everything i want to say um so it starts here i i grabbed my favorite excerpts because the article is kind of long so aaron mitchell aj's father said he was not impressed with jake paul at first and he didn't want his son, who was 14 at the time, involved in Team 10. However, after extensive conversations with Mr. Paul's parents, Greg Paul and Pam Stepnik. You like that? Mr. Paul's assistant, Erica Costell, who's in her mid-20s, and Niels Visser, another member of, of Team 10, he and his wife, Allison, decided to allow AJ to join the group. You gotta appreciate that Jake Paul's dad, who's there eating out little girls... Chill. Allegedly. Let's not. Jesus. Hey, I saw it. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. What didn't I see? Wait, you didn't you see don't anybody's. Sure you. you didn't see anybody's face in that oh, video. That's just kind of gross. Just don't say that. Okay. Hit the kill switch, Dan. <laughs> kill switch. Do we not have the kill switch? I'm a fucking savage. You gotta do I it. haven't managed to get that set up since well, 10, you guys minute, 10 minutes ago when we, we discussed we, it. We grabbed the sound bite and you guys made me stop using it because it was, yeah, too, it was gross. too gross. Yeah, it was too gross. Everybody was like, you have to stop or I'm going to stop watching the show. Listen, it, our, I think we all agree in our opinion it was probably Greg, almost certainly Greg, but we can't say. Bro, I, you could see his face in the video. Why is everyone tiptoeing around this? No, you couldn't. You could see it's his beard in his sure. face. GP coming it's at you. not for sure. I, it was for sure him. No, you can't say that. <laughs> it was. What is everybody? You could I'm, see his face. I don't remember seeing you his face see in his the video. Face. I, think I remember that we were saying that it's not for sure him. And he made a video begging the hackers to get in contact with him. Yeah, but it's... GP's out. You can't come here and say it was for sure him. You just can't. I think the problem is you don't know who the girl was. It was She was young, though. Probably over 18, though. But anyway, whatever. Hopefully. I don't know. Oh, allegedly it was him. I saw his fucking face in the video. In your opinion. Well, anyway, you got to love the irony of Jake's dad being like, no, it's totally safe. It's good, man. It's good here. He's going to be in good hands. And he's outside in a camper fucking the fangirls. It's craziness. GP coming at you. So, okay, <laughs> blows my mind. The guy's such a piece of shit. According to several mem how, uh, several former House members, Mr. Paul could take 10 to 20 percent of the Team 10's YouTube ad revenue for up to five years, even if they left the group. <laughs> that part is really sketch. Yeah. On May 24th, Mr. Mitchell arrived at the Team 10 house with a single suitcase. For several weeks, he didn't have a bedroom, so he slept on a leather couch in the living room. Mitch, Mr. Mitchell was given a room to share with Alyssa Violet, who was 19 at the time and publicly dating Mr. Paul. Do you find that so odd that they... He, yeah, a 14-year-old boy <laughs> with a 19-year-old girl. Super so. weird. In his downtime, Not Mr. Really. Mitchell would write songs in a notebook and play them on his keyboard. One day he came home to discover his keyboard broken. Mr. Paul told him it had been thrown in the pool for a video. <clears throat> followers, um, followers were the primary currency of Team 10 House. If you got tagged to one of Jake's YouTube videos, you could get 50,000 followers, Mr. Mitchell said. <clears throat> Dan says, I swear I can remember seeing his face. I just fact-checked it. Did you look at the a screenshot? Yeah, well, I, I looked at 
a screenshot to remind myself. And oh, yeah, and it's it, the whole thing is first person from his perspective. So oh. you don't see his face. And then I also found an article in Newsweek where it says the photos were blurred and the three sex tape clips don't show any faces. Okay. I, I retract. I, I retra I, this is you, I, man. Ethan Klein, on behalf of myself and the HG podcast and everywhere, I retract my statement. <laughs> I apologize sincerely to the Paul family and to Greg. That said, it's almost certainly him, in my opinion. You can say in your opinion. I, 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 uh, I apologize for my defamatory, or well, hmm, I don't know if I want to admit that it's def Ah, fuck you, it's you, Greg. <laughs> GP coming at you. GP, creep. <clears throat> Sue me, we can do discovery. That's what I always say. Because, you know, when you have to sue someone, you have this, this thing of discovery where you get to swap and you get to look at all the source items. You're like, okay, let me see all you got. Mm -hmm. You're not going to sue me because it's true. GP! GP! He's like, you taking away work possibilities for me in my van outside of Jake Paul's house. I sincerely apologize savage. to you Greg Paul it. for my comments. I retract it. You cannot see his face with peace and love. Um... <clears throat> Followers were the primary currency of Team Ten House. If you get tagged in one of Jake's YouTube videos, you could get fifty thousand followers. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mitchell said Jake would use that to manipulate everyone. If you didn't do what Jake wanted, he'd tell everyone in the house not to tag you. Jake had a monopoly, and he decided who got famous. That's so gross. But there was money coming in too, and members of the group had questions about where it was going. When Team Ten formed, Mr. Paul set up and controlled business email accounts for each member to solicit opportunities. Mr. Mitchell said he was not aware of the opportunities that he was being pitched for or what was coming in. In the 14 months he spent as part of the group, he said he was paid directly for two brand deals, but he never received payment for them from Team 10. Wop, wop, wop. Mr. Mitchell relied on small amounts of money he received from his parents to cover expenses like meals out with the group. Mr. Paul had convinced Mr. Mitchell's parents that their son would be taken care of, but no meal or structure were provided for him other, or the other teenage residents. Most of them had never been expected to shop or cook for themselves and didn't have the means to do so. People see these mansions and they see people living like royalty, but no one knew I was sleeping on the floor and I didn't have food, he said. Jesus. <clears throat> Meanwhile, cut, cut again to Greg Paul being like, no, 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 you're in good hands, everything's yeah. going to be fine. I'm an adult. I'm a, you know, it's like, oh, boy. Yo, folks, what's going on? It's GP coming at you. So bad. Um, oh, Vina Dubel, a professor of law at the University of California, said, we have all these laws in place that have been around for a century to protect child performers, but they have not been extended to safeguard the health, welfare, and safety of children influencers. Because these young creators make money through a variety of revenue streams and are not employed by a single entity, they can be vulnerable to exploitation. If there's not some kind of entity taking responsibility as an employer, then we're going to see the kind of exploitative and unsafe practices we have been seeing, she said. You like that? That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Who invites a 14-year-old into their home and doesn't fucking like... Makes them sleep on the floor and doesn't give them... It's like a... feed them, <laughs> throws their keyboard in the pool, <laughs> makes them sleep on the floor. Also, they just get talent for free because basically they, he probably used them for all his videos, you know? He never paid them. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course. So embarrassing. And then he makes them think like they should be thankful for being in a video because they get tagged and they get clout. Exactly. It's wild. It's just wild. Wild, 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 man. Um, the allure of living clout. independently and building a following had worn off. At first, I was like, there's no parents here, and we get to be free and do what we want. I felt like free in a way, but having Jake be the adult was weird because we all listened to Jake. He was the boss. During parties, marijuana and alcohol were available in the Team 10 house. Mr. Mitchell, 14 years old, said he once drank so much he blocked out. <laughs> nice. The group often attended parties where guests in their 20s and 30s would mingle with teenagers. Mr. Mitchell said he began a sexual relationship with a woman nearly a decade older than him, whom he had met at an influencer party. He understands now that the relationship could not have been consensual because of his age. I was a baby, he said. I had a baby face. I feel like that's just so weird now. Yep. It wasn't until recently. I seen pictures of myself at 13, 14. I look like a yeah. baby. Yeah. The fact that this is just... This is all so wild. 
It wasn't until recently that Mr. Mitchell told his parents the full extent of what took place in the house. Mrs. Mitchell said she was horrified and angry. I'll tell you right now, if I had known anything about any relationship with a girl 10 years older than him, I would have had the law involved. Yeah. I have to say, the parents are kind of dumbasses, though, too. I didn't want to be rude, but... Um, I mean, come on. My parents wouldn't fucking let Jake me go Paul. sit. Yeah. Or any influencer house, for that matter. I mean, shit. He's 14. Well, his parents, they get sucked into the allure of yeah. the fame and everything. It's a classic thing. It's not a, Show, yeah, it's not a new story. The showbiz parents. Hey, sh worst oh, things man. happen in Hollywood. You give them to the custody of an actual like predator. Yeah. I've heard of that happening. That definitely happens. But I would say on the whole, child actors in Hollywood nowadays are protected much more than what is being described. You're here. saying yeah, that you... That's kind of the thing about this article that's interesting because... This has no rules, or they're they're not following anything. Like there is no, they're not providing anything for this kid. And they're destroying his property. <laughs> they're making money off of them. It's crazy. Sounds like the stories from the <coughs> 30s and 40s of, you know, what uh, what child actors went through back then. Several months after Mr. Mitchell's departure, the rest of Team 10 was forced to move. Neighbors said Mr. Paul had creating living hell for them and turned their sleepy neighborhood into a war zone. We're Remember familiar with that, that story. <laughs> the following year, Even and Emilio Martinez, two YouTubers from Spain who had lived in the Team 10 house, spoke about their decision to leave. I actually want to open this because it's so funny, but they say... They said in the video, I remember this happening, they said Mr. Paul bullied them, terrorized them with pranks, and made racist comments mocking their background and language skills. They speak English as a second language. I remember when this came out. Pretty... Um, I, I I feel for them, but at the same time, they're, okay, wearing, Jake. they're wearing shirts that say savage. So, <laughs> f*** you. Oh, man. They Hi, play. guys. We're back. So, I know we haven't been posting a lot of videos. We're here to tell to you explain guys something. 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 First, we should explain oh, why. No, I know. I just, I just, I just get a little taste. A little taste of the twins. I want to get a taste. I want, we should make a, uh, do you think this is a good graphic for Teddy Fresh? <laughs> do, I, these guys don't strike me as savages. Just saying. Peace okay, and love. Let's not make fun of I kids. don't think they're savages. I mean, it's, they're sweet boys. <laughs> Take that savage shirt off. Okay, now we move on to the uh, essay allegations against Jake Paul. Alyssa Violet, the girlfriend who was sharing a room with, um, kid. the kid. She said in a 2018 interview with a YouTuber, Shane Dawson, we know him, he, he is not a physical abuser, but mentally and emotionally, 100%. Every day, 2,000 times a day, she says in a video, I can't remember a conversation where it was me walking away feeling good about myself. If we filmed a video, he had to push me into a bush normally. You'd nudge someone or pretend to push them. He would actually shove me, she says. As she shows scars on the camera, that does sound like physical abuse. He would just do it way too hard. Uh, so then there's this girl who recently came out, Justine, Justine Paradise, 24-year-old TikTok influencer, accused Paul of SA. You guys heard that when we discussed it. Um, it's a She said of it, in a situation like that, there's nothing I could do. I was physically res restricted and felt emotionally restricted afterwards to even say anything about it. Three friends whom she told directly after about the event corroborated her account. So the New York Times went out of their way to mm. corroborate this, you know. Miss Paradise says she plans to file charges. Um, another one, Rayleigh Lowley, 21, a model and actress who began working with Mr. Paul when she was 17, said he often called her jailbait and commented on her appearance. She said that one evening in the late 20, 2017, after filming a video, Mr. Paul groped her. She forcefully uh, told him to stop and ran out of the room. Lowly quit shortly after the incident. It was with Jake. I was with Jake for months, and I saw what kind of person he was behind the scenes and what kind of person he put out to the rest of the world, she said. That actually, I've seen him do that kind of thing, A.B., you've said to me, where he kind of just, he has this thing where he, like, gropes girls. He just grabs their breasts. She's 17, bro. You've seen that, right, A.B.? Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. He's done that, like, a couple times. 
Jake obviously put out a statement, like literally everybody, like I, I, I love this. Everybody's for um, Me Too and women's rights, but no one is guilty. Nobody's ever done anything. Yeah. But also, oh, man. I don't know. What's interesting is that somehow investors continue to go back to Jake Paul. That's the so that's kind of the conclusion of our article, which I'm coming yeah. to next, is that despite all of this, and there was big investors involved in Team Ten. It's like, do you guys have no fucking decency? Do you have no ethical obligation to know what's going on in that house? I mean, their money enabled all this shit. I mean, you don't really need an article to be written to see what was going on. It was happening in in front of everyone. Oh. According to Young Turks, Jake Paul's alleged victim, Justine Paradise, is filing charges against Jake. Good for you. Good for you, girl. Doing something. Because Jake's been treating this girl like shit. And a lot of people have been shitting on her, saying she's lying and all this bullshit. Mm -hmm. And she's like, fuck you. I'm going to the police. Like, like that. Bravery. Um, this is Jake's statement. Sexual assault accusations are something that I or anyone should ever take lightly. That being said, this bitch is a liar. Fuck her. It's false. Same statement, copy paste every time. I, I am a champion of women's rights. Here's the apology that everyone puts out. I am a champion of women's rights, and I have supported and donated my time to women's rights. That being said, this this is slander. I, I've never done anything like this, but I believe women. Not only have I never had a sexual relationship with this individual, but this claim is solely a manufactured accusation and a blatant attempt for attention. Exactly. She's clout chasing. Can we please stop thinking that the clout chasing is actually like that? that That's something that Jake it doesn't Paul make sense. lives by. It's like his whole world. Pete he Davison's pays, after that clout. Yeah. <laughs> I need that he clout. He thinks you can pay people by tagging them. Right. That has never... But, like, can we just dispel this notion that that's even a thing she's not getting clout from this she's getting horrible well, especially after attention. Y jake is making this post she's gonna get a ton of hate well from People the beginning are... she was getting shit on and hated on keemstar was making all these statements keemstar literally went on twitter and he goes can you give me no, that i, me I, I actually want to watch that, that one because now it's super relevant but Keemstar made this Twitter video. He goes, she's lying because you can't get essayed in the mouth. Like, just close your mouth. That's okay. what he That was his take. That Honestly, was the take of a grown-ass man. I can't talk about it because I don't want to say something. I, I can't handle this stuff. You can't? He's so gross. Who, Keemstar? Yeah, it's Keemstar. Yeah, Keemstar. I can't even talk about it. Like, what, what kind of That's statement is that? Up. Maybe you should go get... Therapy? No, maybe someone should do that to him, and then we'll see him. Yeah, give me your us. mouth. Oh, yeah. gross, Hila. That's why I'm saying I can't even talk about him. I don't even <laughs> want to go there. <laughs> I can't talk about Kingstar. He's a disgusting human being. Uh, Yo, called trigger guy. warning. Jake Paul sexually assaulted me, in which she claimed that Paul forced her to perform oral sex on him in July of 2019 in his Los Angeles home. Now, since then, and by the way, she's planning on filing charges against him. Since then, a second woman has come forward, and she has claimed that she was also uh, sexually assaulted by Jake Paul. She claims that when she was 17 years old, I mean, that's the one we he okay. I mean, this is just information we already know. Here's the video, uh, just for you guys. I mean, everyone knows Keemstar is like probably the worst person on the internet. Even despite everything and all we talk about, this I isn't the first time hey he's done it, too. Uh, he, oh yeah, he, he's the one person that tells the victim, "Oh, you could have just said no." That's what he says in this video. It's like he missed. It's like he missed. If he said it's at the forty-second mark ish. This is him talking about the whole thing. Cause, yeah, let's not listen to him talk for like um, several minutes. This is a, a take in 2021 by a fucking, I don't know, late 30s with a daughter, by the way. Seconds, busted a nut in her mouth, and she claims that she was sexually assaulted. Now, how does that happen? I'm so, I like, what? Wouldn't she have to open her mouth and, like, participate in some way for that to happen? Like, can't you just turn your head or can't you just get, a, like, is, Close is, your there, is there, That's what she is said. there some a way rebuttal. to force oral sex on someone? It makes me so upset. I mean, like, I she's not saying that he had a weapon and was like, you better do this. You know, she is oh saying God. that he grabbed her head 
and started fucking her face and came in her mouth. I don't understand the physics here. Like, I don't understand how that's possible. Like, why? Like, I would... Can't you get away? Is there really no way to get away? Is there really no way to just close your mouth and like and just not let the penis enter your mouth? Like, come, like I'm sorry, but I just don't believe this story at all. I, I, I am I missing something here? Yes, Please yes. Challenge yes. me. A lot of Please things. Challenge I mean, me, right? Really, like, just. I don't want to go in front of millions of people, get called a victim blamer, and not have a piece of information uh, that I should have. Um, but like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's it sounds like BS. Please challenge me. I mean, how do you want someone to challenge you? Well, he go got challenged. It. He got challenged, and he immediately was like, "I never said anything like that," and like just outright denied that he was. Uh, but didn't he say on Drama Alert that he doesn't believe her, too? And it's not the first time. There was a different girl yeah. that came out about a different story, and this he guy. had to call her out too on his platform, which I still don't understand why YouTube and Twitter and everyone gives him a platform. It was this guy, Curtis something. He apparently essayed his what? What was it? His girlfriend? And he goes, it, he, this is the classic fucking victim blaming. He goes, how can you essay your girlfriend or wife? Am I getting that right? I don't want to speak out of turn here. I don't remember, I don't remember this story at all. So I AB? Talk about Where's AB? Doing research. Oh. I'm here. Yeah. I I, it was like in last summer, right? Yeah. I believe, yeah, I believe that was the situation, but I'm not 100% sure. I but think that was his take where he's like, how can you essay your girlfriend? That's impossible. As if they're just fuck dolls for you to abuse and like there's no. But anyway, yeah, it's obviously the worst take I've ever heard in my life. And um, he's a horrible human being. He really is. Keemstar consistently amazes me, you know. At oh. this point, it doesn't amaze me. What amazes me is YouTube, is Twitter, is everyone that is allowing him to spread these words to millions of people. Oh, we got a fresh tweet. Well, I don't know if you want to actually show it because it... Anyways, basically, yeah, you're right. You're saying it's hard to believe because oh. they're boyfriend and girlfriend. And this is good here. This is what he said of that case you're talking about. He said, I hate cases of R word. In most cases, only two people in the world actually know what happened. Everyone else has to guess. The Jesse Smiles and Curtis story is so hard to believe because they were boyfriend and girlfriend. So she says he R worded her. He went to jail for it, didn't he? I'm not, I'll check right now. But the truth is none of us actually know what happened. Okay, douche. Anyway, yada, 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 Jake Paul, Keemstar is the worst. So in business land, we're wrapping up. We're going to get to Taylor. this was one that I personally responded to, I remember. Oh, where hold that up. Said that Send me on Discord. I'll pull it up. It was like, she should have just said no. He obviously has got some issues. I mean, Keemstar has deeply rooted issues with women because he always oh, takes. Yeah. I mean, his, his thing is to like. Either make fun of their appearance, including myself, including AB's wife. Lena, yeah. I'm gonna have a look. Um, or call out victims, calling them liars, and sending his fans to go attack them. And then he somehow like will do this thing where he's like, "I'm gonna donate a hundred dollars." Everyone hashtag good guy Kim to win, and then he gets that trending to make it seem like good guy Kim is a thing. Well, it's whenever you see, well, I will tell you, whenever you see good guy Kim trending and you click it, it's all people. He's on. basically paying for it too, to be, to to trend. But anyway, it's yeah, Kim, uh, Kim Star started this thing to say Elo looks like a horse, and uh, it was like basically he was just tweeting pictures of horses to her and me, which was, you know, he's he's really he's yeah, it's epic savage moments. Um, he is beyond uh, incredibly. He's the worst. I mean, he's the worst. It's crazy. I'm going to have a little bit of a rant. And I haven't uh -oh. researched everything, so I don't have all the details. Coming out of the gates hey, strong. Newsman <laughs> coming out the gates. So I'm going to go on a rant, and I don't know what I'm talking about. That I just don't know about. Oh, can you hand me the, the puppet? If I'm going to proceed, I might as well go all in here. Uh, yeah, people are surprised that he made fun of Baby's beautiful wife. Yes, oh, yeah. he did. He called her a he witch. He called her the wicked witch. He started... Um, yeah. It's insane. Oh, let me read your tweet. For no reason, too. You it's so insane. Oh no, he he and he has a. This man has a daughter. Let's remind you. So, his his he obviously has some trauma about his mom or something like that. 
Um, and obviously it's manifesting himself and thinking, he really thinks women are... I'm not sure where it is. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, it's got to be here somewhere. We Whatever. have to find the puppet. I don't want to even go I have a, too long okay. about this guy. So, oh wow, Ela fucking went off on Kimi. She said, what a terrible, dangerous take. Victims of sexual assault already have a hard enough speaking out with feelings of shame and guilt. The last thing we need is for someone like Keemstar also criticizing how they should have just said no. Fuck Keemstar. And that was how long ago already? He's still doing it. Just last year. Still doing it. Oh, baby. Thank you. Uh, we have Keemstar here to speak for himself on the matter. Okay. Okay. First of all, Ethan, you are a fucking hypocrite. Okay. Okay, Keemstar. Okay, here, let me do this one. Hang on. There you go. Okay. You're telling me, why didn't you just close your mouth? Why didn't you just close your mouth? I mean, Garbage. it's impossible to get essayed. You just say no, or you just close your mouth. It's literally impossible. Okay, Garbage. Keemstar. How would you know? I've, trust me, I know. You do know. Look at my eyes. His eyes are all buggy and bloody. Here, let's watch this video. Oh, right? But I just read a Me Too movement, or Me Too statement. Yeah, we're, we're almost done. We're almost oh, right, done. Right. We're almost done. Right. We're almost done. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit of a rant. And I haven't researched everything, so I don't have all the like details. So maybe there's something extra to this story that I just don't know about, yeah. right? We have the reporter But I just waiting. read a Me Too movement, or Me Too statement, about these gamers. They live in a gamer house. One's a guy, one's a girl. The guy's drunk. He jumps into her bed. He's like putting his hand up against her chin. He like grabs her hand, kisses it. He might say, he grazes his hand across her chest. And um, the girl says, I was so shocked by all these three things that I just didn't even react. I was just, I was, I just was froze. I didn't that say anything. That makes total sense to me. It's your response. When you get scared, so the you the girl laugh. froze. <laughs> yeah, it she makes total sense. She froze and She's that's scared. a thing that happens of course. to people. Exactly what happened to that girl, Justine Paradise. She's just, and also. Also with every women and men situation, there is a power difference. So what could you even do really? Every guy, almost 90% of guys will be stronger than the, the girl in that situation. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that that girl in the Jake Paul situation could have just moved him? Jake Paul is huge. Well, okay, but he's ignoring really the fact that she says, first of all, the girl says Jake Paul was holding her head down forcefully and she said it only lasted 20 seconds and she was just in shock at what was going yeah. on. And like, so yeah, it makes total sense, Kim Star. Douche Star. Responsibility to say something. If a guy's making a moves on you and you don't want that to happen, you got to say no. Like that, that's your responsibility. You have to say no. No, it's the guy's responsibility you... not to try to commit sex crimes on women. It's not their responsibility to fucking be ready at all times to swat away predators. How is it their responsibility? That's not the society we're building. That's not a safe society we're building for women where it's their responsibility to protect themselves. That's like victim blaming 101. It's like, oh, you wore sexy clothing, so you had it coming. Yeah. That's Such a weird take. You can't just not do anything and then be like, he wronged me. What? You got to say no. You have to say no. And what are we talking about? This? We're talking about kissing a hand? That's what we're talking about? No, we're about? talking about he got in bed and he gave her unwanted touching. It's fucking creepy. People shouldn't, she shouldn't be, have to deal with that. That's wrong to do. Now, if you would have said to him, get away from me, and he still grabbed your hand and kissed it, fine. But when you say nothing, nothing, no like, hey, you're crossing the line, hey, too much, and he just kisses your hand, why don't you pull your hand away? Does it feel like he's defending himself a little bit? You know what I mean? He's like, I've done shit like that. That's Definitely. why he's like this. He's like, I've done shit like this. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, he's, ah, he's like, I've done way it. worse. Yeah, exactly. I've done way worse. It's not a crime. I feel totally fine about what I did. I mean, maybe there's more details out there that I just don't know about, right? Maybe there's more stories That's out there about this individual. That's what all these guys who are, maybe... who are attacking the victims, it's because they fucking are defending themselves. They know they've done worse. He is a creep, right? But based on what I just read, and I didn't even read the full thing because I couldn't get through it because I was so angry that this person's getting me too for kissing a girl's hand. You, the female, have a responsibility to say no, no, stop. I don't like this. Get away. No, you have that responsibility. <clears throat> 
I don't have all the details, but if this whole man's career is completely finished and ruined from kissing a girl's hand, uh... Anyway, he's the worst person alive. A case closed. Look into Keemstar. If you don't know about him, he's the worst. Cheers. God bless. So let me finish this, and we'll get Taylor on the call. Basically, in business land, in reaction to Jake Paul, uh, he continues to have new venture funds already lined up from powerful Silicon Valley have agreed to contribute to the fund. These older investors come in who have no idea about social media, and they see he's got a lot of followers, and from their perspective, it's a success, Mr. Mitchell said. The real story is Jake should not be getting any money from investors from the things he's done in the past. Where other YouTubers like David Dobrik and James Charles have faced financial fallout after accusations of misconduct, Mr. Paul has yet to see any consequences. If Jake's sponsors and investors don't hold him accountable, then why would he change any of his actions? Oh, that's what Paradise said, Justin Paradise. So let's get Taylor Loren, uh, Lorenz on the call here, who's been waiting patiently. And we will... Um, there she is. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, no, it's all good. I'm here. So um, thank you for joining us. And Tell thank you for writing this article. I think it's yeah. great. <laughs> Tell me, are you, what was the, uh, what was the process first of identifying like, oh, I want to write this article about Jake and Team 10 and all this? Well, I had been looking into this article for over a month. I started talking to Justine before she put her video out mm. on YouTube oh. or anything. Um, so Basically, I mean, Jake has been in the news a lot because um, he has now obviously raised a fresh venture fund. I think this is like his third time trying to raise a venture fund. Um, and then obviously the boxing and all that. He's just gaining a lot of inroads in the business world. Hmm. And, um, you know, from a New York Times, we that's really interesting because we want to look at the business and power behind these creators. And um, I had written a lot about the Team 10 House back in the day. And, um, you know, obviously Thomas Petru and, and other people were involved with Team 10 that, that are part of these houses like Hype House and stuff. Um, and so and there's just all these kids that want to move into these houses and be like Jake Paul. So it just kind of started to look into, um, you know, the world that he built and what it was like for that first generation of kids that moved into, you know, these collab houses. Hmm. How did you find this, this, uh, this boy who was 14? Did you, cause I, I never saw him. I didn't even know about him. I was really surprised to hear his story. Um, how did you connect with him? Yeah, well, I began reaching back out to people who were there from the first days, like the early days of Team 10. So back in 2016, mm. when Jake raised money, um, you know, the, the Team 10, let's not forget, you know, investors backed Team 10. Right. Um, they put a lot of money behind it. It wasn't just Jake's money. He doesn't usually spend his own money. <laughs> he can help it. So, um, so I started reaching back out to people, but um, I had gotten basically connected with him um, through a mutual connection who said that he was ready to talk. And um, yeah, I remembered him because he, he was 14 and then Alex Lange was like 15. There was a bunch of like really young people mm. um, when Jake launched that first version of Team 10. Obviously, Team 10 cycled through so many people over the years. Um, How is it but, that... Yeah. How is it that investors were okay backing up such a project that has no accountability for anything? They're clearly not taking care of the kids. I mean, and then they, I mean, it was all easy to see that they're up to no good. They're always in the news, getting into trouble with the neighborhood. Weird. I know. <laughs> I mean, I was there the day that, you know, when that report reporter showed up and Jake Paul was wreaking havoc and everything. I think the issue is, is that I mean, it, it's two things. I mean, one, there are these really toxic investors and men in Silicon Valley mm. that I think see themselves in Jake Paul. They don't give a, oh. you know, they don't give a care in the world to the stuff that he's done. Um, and then there's a lot of people that I think are just kind of vaguely ignorant or they don't really care. Like Jake still has reach. And one thing that's been really interesting, I'm sure you guys have seen, but in the past year, there's just been so much attention from Silicon Valley on the sort of quote unquote creator world where they're just desperate to back these people. They like just discovered that people are big on YouTube suddenly, I think, and they don't really know who to back. And so they go Google, you know, YouTube star and they see Jake Paul and they're like, oh, okay, I guess he's popular. Maybe their kids watch him. 
Um, I find it interesting. But, there seems to be no due diligence. I mean, these are investors. Yeah. They know they know something about due diligence. That's their whole world, right? They need to they need to thoroughly investigate where they're putting their money. I'm sure investigating like a company is a lot harder than looking up that Jake Paul is is a is a problematic person, to put it mildly, you know. I find that interesting. Um, and even now, like you said, he's just raised another. From some of the most powerful people in Silicon Valley. I mean, wow. Mark Andreessen and Chris Dixon personally put money into this fund. They personally put money in. This is after Jake spent, you know, all last year partying during COVID saying it's a hoax, mm -hmm. you know, among other things. It's not like it's a secret that Jake is is toxic. Um, but, you know, I will say the good investors do do due diligence. I mean, and, you know, at least, um, you know, David Dobrik, you know, met with other VC funds and they watched, I think, two of his videos and were like, this is a liability. You oh, know? interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, that is interesting because, yeah. you know, before all this stuff came to light, David Dobrik was, I think, considered, obviously his content was mature, but like non-controversial. <clears throat> I think it's just like, it depends on the investor's risk too. Like some of these investors are more risk prone. I think the ones that don't get it, actually, it's really shocking from the outside. Like I think that we watch a lot of pranks. We've seen David Dobrik's videos over there. It's almost normalized to us, but I think for a few have an older guy that's not really online look at it it's like ooh, that that just looks like drama or liability or someone's mm. gonna get hurt or, you know right. you know what's yeah. you know what's interesting to me it seems like all of these investments not what has panned out from these investments dispo is in flames jake paul team 10 i don't think they ever made money from that why do people even keep giving creators money because i haven't seen any evidence of a huge return i think because they see creators themselves making a lot of money so yes. they're trying to find a way in on this. And let's not, I mean, Jake Paul had an app too. I don't know if you guys mm. remember Locker Room, his social media app that he tried that kept men and women separate, which. Um, Whoa, I, no, I don't remember that. Well, and, that. Oh, and then you just reminded me of another one of Jake Paul's ventures, which was basically more or less a scam where he was selling how to be an influencer. Oh, you remember yeah. that? that was so so <laughs> it's like none, none of his ventures have been successful. So I just want like with a track record like that. And, and then all of the toxic behavior, it surprised me that anyone will give him money. I think it's like a way to, I think it's a signaling, right? Like, I think that like, these investors like Mark Andreessen and Chris Dixon that are putting their personal money in there. I think it's a way to kind of be like, yeah, you know, I'm supporting this guy. Like I'm cool. Like, mm. because, oh, really? yeah, I, I think that they like, I mean, I think they know he's problematic and they don't care. Um, yeah, sure. I think, but, but listen to like, I mean, I don't know how much you guys talked about this, but like, you know, Charlie and Dixie and a ton of people were out promoting his fight just last weekend on TikTok. Like there's a lot of people that don't, care or don't care. see yeah, they, yeah well i think it's all about public perception with these kinds of things where it's like you know it look there's a fight with him and it's huge events so it must be fine you know yeah yeah i don't think these people think about it too much is there anything like is there anything i left out i i'm I don't, I'm assuming you were watching when I was reading about the article was there anything that i left out that you thought was important to mention yeah, I, I it kind of cut out for part of it, so I'm not sure if you mentioned, but I just want to say that, you know, the New York Times fact-checking process is incredibly intense, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it's 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 a long process. We started talking to Justine a long time ago, mm -hmm. far before she ever went to the press, like, or before she ever posted her video, and, um, you know, I interviewed other people, including people that were there, that corroborated her account of events. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we really do due diligence. So I think sometimes people see things and they they take it as just like a drama, or that person's just saying stuff. And it's like this was a this was a really long process. There was a lot that came out. There was a lot that didn't even make it in there that I'm sure mm -hmm. will end up on the internet. But I think um, you know, it, it was it was intense. Um, so, so what do you think that. about Keemstar's defense that it's a, that she should have just <laughs> closed her mouth? Closed her mouth. I mean, why? I love how he prefaces something with like, I don't really know what's going on. Exactly. But, <laughs> that I is didn't the even best. read the full article, but <laughs> I think I I think that's so incredibly offensive. And also to say that these women didn't say no or make it clear that it was unacceptable is also just counterfactual. You know, these women 
they do, do say no. Right. And Jake Paul is a boxer. He's a big, intimidating person. I mean, hmm. it's not like you, know, you were saying, like, you know, women are not always in, in this position. And hmm. I'm, I, I have to say, like, um, you know, it's very brave and unusual for, for Justine to come out. I think she really gave like a very like measured account on the video, but we, I spoke to her at length and her sole motivation it was just to kind of prevent other, this from happening to other women. Mm -hmm. And that's really why she wanted to talk about it. Um, you know, she doesn't care about the investors or whatever. Like she just doesn't want other women to have to go through what she went through. And that's um, something we've touched on before, which is like the, one of these, unfortunate side effects of dealing with something like this as a victim is that now all of a sudden not only have you been a victim and you have to hold the trauma of that but now you f you may feel as a victim that you have now all of a sudden this responsibility because you need you need to, to let other people, other people know. know and it's like so so not only are they um committing this crime on you but now they're giving you guilt associated with having to sp right. speak up and prevent it from happening from other people it's so messed up. And I also just hope that more, you know, reporters in the mainstream media cover this stuff. I think a lot of stuff gets written up as like drama. Like I was yeah. just looking at some press when Justine first put her piece out and it's just, it's framed as like drama coverage. And like, you know, this is, this is, it's a crime. Yeah, it's, it's a not, crime and it's yeah. serious and it should be covered that way. And um, so I just, I, I hope that, that, you know, that kind of can be reframed. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, I think I think people get too caught up with, with exactly like you said, where if it's on the Internet, it's YouTube drama. Uh, or we, because she chose to tell her story on YouTube. Um, I mean, we, we knew that she was going to publish that before she went before our story would come out because our story was taking a while. And she, I think, really wanted to speak out on it also just in her own voice. But it's like just because you choose YouTube to tell your story doesn't mean that it's YouTube drama. It just sure. that's a platform for you to, to have a voice and for her to say stuff that she could never say in an article. You know, we don't. It's a, mm. the article can only be so long, right? Like she really wants to tell everything so that there's no question. So right. it's interesting yeah. how there's almost like a built in defense when people like Jake, they invite a girl like her, who's like a small influencer. And so no matter what she ever says, they have this built in defense that she's just clout chasing. Yeah. That's like what you always hear from everyone is, oh, they're just doing this for clout. Um, is that a thing? What is what does it mean to clout chase as a victim? Is that something that you can gain clout from? It's not from? a thing. Right. No, you don't get any clout from it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you as somebody that's reported on a lot of horrible stuff over the years, the people who experience this stuff usually just have lasting trauma and it's much, it's harder for them. You know, they, they're not going to get brand deals as easily. Mm -hmm. They're sort of forever synonymous with this horrible event on the internet. It's mm -hmm. very hard for them to change their image. They obviously get so much hate from people like Keemstar that are questioning their situation with no mm -hmm. understanding of what's going on. Um, and so it's, it's really hard for, it's, it's so like clout chasing is just such an idiotic way to frame something like that and it also like puts him on this pedestal where i think if you're saying oh this person's cloud chasing then you're acknowledging that you are in a position of power with right. this person mm. and like i mean i think that's almost telling on yourself a little bit interesting right. that's very true yeah well i agree I that, um, yeah i hope that more women speak out too and i hope that the media can cover it more like i hope that i hope that more women consider going to like reporters and stuff because i will say that like you know, vetting it and have in speaking to the other people, like speaking to her friends, speaking to people that were th like familiar with the situation that saw her, you know, crying afterwards and stuff. Like there's just a lot that I think um, it, it's, it's like hard for people to get when she tells her own story. But I think, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and it, it unfortunately gets taken, like you said, as drama when you don't really speak to a reporter. But if you go to a reporter, then it's like a serious story. For some reason, yeah. And, yeah. and well, also just like the change, adults in the room, yeah, like pay attention to it. Like yeah. I think that like the CMO of Target or whatever might not see your YouTube video, but they'll certainly know if you talk to the New York Times or whatever. That's a, not to say you shouldn't do both. You know, you can mm -hmm. do both. You can put stuff on the internet and you can talk to the media. Yeah. Well, when I first saw Justine's video, I was like, wow. I never heard anyone really describe their assault in such detail before. And I thought from the beginning that she was being really brave and coming forward and she immediately got hate from a lot of people like came star and other people online and um yeah i think it's 
I think it's brave, and I'm I'm glad that there are people in the New York Times and such established organizations that are willing to examine these kinds of things and to acknowledge that it's not like new. It's not. You know, people don't take this this realm so seriously, but now all of a sudden, you know, there are serious actors here, like with all, all that Jake Paul is doing and the venture capital and the boxing, mm -hmm. and these are big players now all of a sudden, and they need to be treated as such. Definitely. I mean, Insider's done a great job with that as well. I know they covered, like, all the Jeffree Star stuff, too. Right. But like, mm -hmm. I mean, these people are running million-dollar businesses in some cases, like some of these creators and these investors, and so I think... Hopefully more reporters will look into it and more, more people will also come forward with stuff. Um, but it just, it just sucks. It sucks that these people have to deal with these haters on the internet. Cause it's like, it's, it's a lot of like nine year olds too, that just have no Right. Of course. Right. Yeah. Just, of course. But. Well, Taylor, thank you for sharing with us. Thank you for calling in and helping yeah. us understand all this and um keep up the good work i'm a fan of yours i follow you oh likewise well thanks for you, for you know always covering all this stuff yeah thank you so thank you taylor taylor lorenz on that's just your handle right on twitter yep. yep we'll put a link in the description if you guys want to follow follow taylor on twitter she's always bringing uh scoops and news so we'll put that in the description thank you taylor thank you for calling in thanks guys bye. appreciate it bye take care Hmm. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, was that delayed? Or she? Okay. Now we go. <laughs> I think that was yeah. an inter really interesting point she says about the clout. I think the more... The clout chasing. People... Oh, yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Point. Like, when have you ever seen a famous victim that, like, became famous? What, Dan? <laughs> when I was hanging up on her, I think I accidentally reported her to Zoom. What? For like crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Good job, Dan. So sorry, Taylor. Thanks for coming on. We just banned. reported you to Zoom. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Uh, I hope you don't get banned or something. I don't know how that I works. Dan is going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Eli. What were you saying? That, like, if that was a thing, you would have, like, people who became famous just from, from being a victim of... Oh, yeah. That like, has never happened. <laughs> she, Justine Paradise, famously made her big break from her yeah. accusations against Jake Paul clout. in 2021. Yeah. Since then, she's skyrocketed to fame. Right. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. There you go. Taylor Lorenz, everybody. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that you can be such a, like, like all of his tech ventures have been such colossal failures. I, I'm actually surprised that he's still... Failing up, baby. It's the best way to get ahead in this country. Well, he continues to make money for himself, but I don't see any of his, like, uh, investment opportunities panning out. I wouldn't give Jake Paul a fucking, even if he was in talks, I wouldn't give him a fucking dollar. Oh, man. I can turn your one dollar into zero by the end of the year, <laughs> guaranteed. Look at my track record. I mean, the the fight did bring in a lot of money. Yeah, but they're yeah, not sure. investing in the fight. That's Jake Paul's money. Uh, right. He's the investor in that case. You're right. Yeah, nobody's benefiting from that except Jake. I mean, that's just his, oh, that's man. just his direct creator opportunities. It's like, yeah, Jake makes a lot of money, but that's the money he makes for doing his fucking shtick. Right. You're, nobody's cutting you in on that action. Right. Anyway, that's Jake Paul for you. With a little spice of Keemstar's a douche, which mm -hmm. is always a nice spice <laughs> to sprinkle on any meal. Ben Shapiro is a... Uh, speaking of douches, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Wet-ass P-word. I was waiting so, for it. So, yeah, that was coming. <laughs> All right, so, guys, you can see. Uh, uh, this is not a parody, okay? Uh, ben Shapiro, who, what's the backstory for this? In Georgia, a bunch of companies are moving out of Georgia because they're enforcing these, like, absolutely heinous voter suppression laws. And where's the whole video? This is just the, I want the right whole. Right below. Yeah, good. People are saying it was out of context, so she posted the whole thing, and it's like, Here we are all at just Depot, as you know. Um, so Home Depot was the like one of the only big companies in Georgia that was like, we're not going to comment on this. Is that right, Dan? Right. Yeah, they're just uh, they're based in Georgia and they uh, are trying to remain neutral. 
they're remaining neutral. But a lot of the big companies are pulling out of Georgia, and they're like, you know, fuck, fuck. Because or maybe not necessarily pulling out of Georgia, but they're uh, they're lobbying against the law in some fashion or another. What do you? Love? What is the issue in Georgia? So in again? Georgia, because they lost, because they went blue, the government in power there is trying is in enacting like very severe voter suppression laws um, to prevent, uh, you know. Got it. Black people. Yeah. In in short, black people from voting. So Ben Shabino is out here. Oh, here, Avi, thank you. Just to give you an idea, uh, the the governor Brian Kemp just signed into a law bill that adds many obstacles to voting, including reducing the number of ballot boxes, shrinking the window for early voting, adding additional photo ID requirements, and allowing state officials to circumvent the work of county election officials if they don't like the outcomes they are seeing. The Georgia bill even goes so as far as to make it illegal for outside groups to give water or food to voters stuck in long lines. What? We want our freedom you know where there's long there. lines in poor and poor, mostly black neighborhoods. Yeah. Okay. Make He's making illegal, make illegal to give, to give food water. and water to people stuck in long lines. Jesus. I mean, this shit is straight up Jim Crow fucking backwater <laughs> racist <laughs> bullshit. Oh, hit me with that Tucker laugh. It's a lunatic. How do people defend this? How? How do people af- defend this? We are witnessing right now a massive and unabashed assault on voting rights unlike anything we've seen since the Jim Crow era. Yeah. How do you defend removing ballot boxes? Yeah. Well, they say they do it all under the guise of uh, voter fraud, which there's basically zero of. So, you know, and, if, you know, Good on, I think, good on the companies. Mm-hmm. They have a right. It's, it's so ironic. These Republicans cannot get their opinion straight. They lobby their whole fucking career to give businesses more power. And then the moment they actually use that authority that they fought their whole career to, to, uh, to give them, then all of a sudden boycotting is, is cancel culture. So here's Ben Shapiro. I have I have not seen evidence of Ben Shapiro being smart. To be honest, frank with you guys, I mean he talks fast and he's articulate, but his takes don't make any sense. Yeah, <laughs> there's no consistency. Let's see. Here we are at Home Depot. As you know, controversy has now involved Home Depot as people are encouraging people to boycott Home Depot because Home Depot is not getting involved in Georgia's voter law controversy. Home Depot is doing exactly the right thing because, after all, they are in fact Home Depot. They are not in the business of politics because you should be buying from companies that are not falling to the world left. Home Depot, so far, is one of those companies. So, here's what we're doing. And I encourage you to do the same. We're going to go in there, we're going to buy some stuff, and then I'm going to leave. Been... So wait, watch yeah. this. Watch this. It gets so good. All this right, is, as you can see, he bought I just want to... a wood. <laughs> he bought a wood. This is him supporting Home Depot. I went and bought a wood. What? And I put it in a bag. In a bag. <laughs> What is he going to do with that wood, do you think? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Shapiro, and I just went to Home Depot, and I bought a wood I sport Home Depot. Extra large with, like, and extra hard. Part. Right. <laughs> like, I'm going to go build a house for a home. I'm going to go help a homeless shelter, wow, build some thank house. Wow, you for your support. <laughs> I bought this piece of wood There's for $12. Dollars. Yes, Home Depot. There's support Home Depot. House. I encourage everybody to go to Home Depot and buy a wood and put it in a bag. Thank you. Making a difference. Extra large. Oh One piece God. of wood at a time. I, you couldn't come up with anything more sad than this. Well, here, that's why everyone's making fun of him. Wow. But here, shopping at Home Depot, you should do the same. This wood, this board, this magnificent piece of poplar is now mine. Here we are at Home Depot. How is this not a joke? Such a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the joke. Right, as you can see, I just went shopping oh at Home Depot. God, you should I do the same. Get over this this, this wood in a bag. This magnificent He's changing poplar. the world. Now- <laughs> see? Ben's he's doing wow. social justice right now, one wood plank at a time. Oh, also one thing people pointed out, which is pretty funny, is that he's standing on the curb to make himself look taller. <laughs> All right, as you, can- you see how it's shot? Here's the curb, and here's the street. <laughs> When you're as when you're Spit as little as mouth. Ben, you Look spend your whole eyes. life trying to not even physically, but like you know, uh, just spiritually, you spend your whole life working on camera angles like that, figuring out. <laughs> but that was slick. I, I didn't even notice that he was standing on a curb until someone pointed it out. Extra large and extra hard. <laughs> <laughs> a group of. Uh, 
I love that. I can't get over this piece of wood. So just to give you a little context. How do you go to Home Depot and only come up with a piece of wood? How is that helping Home Depot? Yeah. I encourage everybody to go buy. He's like, I'm going to go buy a bunch of stuff to help Home Depot. Here's one piece of wood. I'm going to throw in the dumpster on my way out. Thank you. Fun. Funny enough, I happened to go to Home Depot for the first time in my Good. life and just get a piece of wood yesterday, but it's, it's for something completely unrelated. Wow. <laughs> Amy Hold of on, Solidarity baby. with Ben Shapiro. Hold on. You are pro-Georgia voting restrictions. No, Are you part no. of the Ben Shapiro club? Well, funnily, of course, because hell Ben no. is such a hypocrite and he can't keep one talking point straight from the other. I wonder if all of his friends just went and bought a piece of wood now. <laughs> I doubt it. I, maybe. Maybe there's just... Wood planks and bags all over America. <laughs> ben Shapiro, who's a giant hypocrite and can't keep his talking points straight, tweeted previously, I canceled my Sports Illustrated subscription after 16 years last year because of the leftist politics. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think he's trying to cancel Sports Illustrated. Right. I think they had like a trans, I, I remember this, they had like a trans model. And so he thought that was a political statement and canceled his Sports Illustrated. Big <laughs> God, these people are oh here's a great one from ben shapiro this was from his vlog that he's pr tried to scrub from the internet because he knows he's such a fucking Blo hypocrite. just just blog oh not this is, yeah it blog. was just written, but yeah so apparently he's calling on a boycott of ritz crackers <laughs> because of al sharpton uh what is the thing here al sharpton had had used the term cracker uh disparagingly about white people in like 1990 or something and he's uh, he's holding on to that. Well, because he's he had a sh he I think maybe still does has a show on MSNBC. So he was calling for a boy. Ritz was one of the sponsors oh. of his show. So he says, if you disagree with Ritz crackers, that Sharpton's program is distasteful, believable, and generally acceptable in terms of social and community standards. If you do not think that Sharpton's brand is of divisive, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, he goes, contact Ritz crackers. Please sign the petition and <laughs> call on everybody. Here's the phone number. Here's their tweet. Here's the hashtag. Hashtag Sharpton's crackers. Please at Ritz Carlton. I'm sorry. Who's doing cancel culture? <laughs> this is like a... Whole organized. Uh, oh God! This is like high-level cancel shit. I'm so sick of the fucking term cancel culture. It's so mm -hmm. fucking meaningless. Me too. It doesn't mean well, anything. It doesn't mean anything. Anymore. Well, especially when they do it all the fucking time. It just like Donald mean Trump anything. is and the king of cancel new. culture. What? We just invented boy uh, boycotting in the last like four years. This is boycotting has existed forever. Like this is so hey, Dave, stupid. This is not bad, huh? Well, yeah, I think it's it's just a Republican tactic to fucking rile people up because it's like, oh, you okay, I mean you can say and cancel? You, you don't have to make sense. Anyway, Ben Shapiro bought a plank of wood. That's the point. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'll never look at planks of wood this time. <laughs> Here is my piece of wood. Wet ass P word. <laughs> Hold up that wood. Let me see your wood again, AB. <laughs> Yo, AB, let's Give see me. that wood. Let me take Give a look a at that wood. Let's you got that, that from Home Depot? Yeah, let me get it up. Let me see. He's got to get that wood up. Can you get let's a bag? Get <laughs> I know, I didn't use a bag. Can, do you I have am... a bag? Can we just put it in a bag? <laughs> I, may have a, I may have a Home Depot bag. You got to wrap up that wood, dude. Yeah, you better bag that you gotta, wood. You're going to get a splinter. You got to be safe. Bag it. That's Gotta what be she safe said. and wrap the wood. You want Bag me to the wood. <laughs> uh, there's a Britney Spears update, Eli. You can give me your opinion on this. Okay, for the first time, Britney has answered the question on everybody's mind. <laughs> yet it still raises more questions than answers <laughs> like yet again. <laughs> and so, Eli, you tell me this, what you think. I'm here to answer all of your questions, and the first main question that you guys have been asking me is basically, when I'm in my living room, do I get dizzy when I'm spinning so much? Yes, I get extremely dizzy, um, but I'm a dancer, so as long as I have a focus point for my head, um, as I turn, as long as I keep finding that spot, usually in the end it's not as bad. Um, the second question that you guys have been asking me is basically, what does the red refrigerator mean on my Instagram? Honestly, I just thought it was cool. I thought it was vintage, it was red, and um, it was really cool. High level Next shit. question is, am I okay? Yes, am I'm I totally okay? fine. I'm extremely happy. I have a beautiful home, beautiful children. Um, I'm taking a break right now because um, I'm enjoying myself. That's it. <laughs> she always does that. Cut off, weirdly. <laughs> and the bouncing and the nervousness. Her Instagram is the most bizarre <laughs> Instagram I've ever seen. I, I follow her because it's so bizarre. 
Yeah, I think all of us, to be honest. But she says, am I okay? Yes, I'm fine. But mm, people are not so sure in the comments. People are still worried about Brittany. Um, people are saying... <laughs> People are saying the first time she's ants. Okay, she says the way she keeps looking to the side and strange cuts don't sit right with me. Hmm. <laughs> she keeps looking to the side and swaying. Hmm. You answer, am I okay? But we know this still isn't you, honey. Hmm. I don't know. Who was asking these questions? <laughs> So there you go. There's still skepticism. Is Brittany okay? <laughs> we, we will never know. I don't you feel, know. Like I feel maybe like a little, alone. little overanalyzing. Yeah, I feel like that's. It's like a pastime at this point. <laughs> is decoding I mean, her Instagram her whole, videos. Whole Instagram is weird. So I think the conclusion is that she is just weird. Hey hey. It's <laughs> she's got a kind of I mean with peace and love this is just my first thing that came to my head I don't know you might you guys might want to fucking run me over but I looks like she's on something the way she's bouncing mm. she's a some kind of stimulant you know I mean, I that kind know. of bouncing when do you ever bounce like that I don't know there has been a conservator conservatorship update though yeah. Jamie, her dad's lawyer, say that Jamie would like to end the conservatorship. Really? But, here you go, here's this dipshit. He would love nothing more than to see Brittany not need a conservatorship. Whether or not there is an end to the conservatorship really depends on Brittany. Okay, douche. What? If she wants to end her conservatorship, she can file a petition to end it. Like any parent, he doesn't always see eye to eye on what Brittany may want. Okay, she's like literally she 40 years old. tell you that she wants to end it and you end it? <laughs> and you, but your, your authority as parent has long expired. She's a yeah. fucking like grown-ass adult. But Jamie believes every single decision he has made has been in her best interest. Yeah, especially the part where you got a raise. <laughs> you kept giving yourself raises. Yeah. Was that part of what was in her best interest? Just end this thing. Uh, Brittany's lawyer asked for temporary conservator Jody uh, Mont Montgomery to be named permanent conservator. Jody stepped in as temporary conservator in September after Jamie stepped down due to health reasons. Court documents say that Brittany reserves the right to petition for the termination of the conservatorship. Brittany has previously said in court documents she strongly opposes having her dad as her conservator and strongly prefers Jody in that role. Okay, so why can't we just do it already? He's like, hey, I would love to. Hey, I'm ready to step down. You know, it's just when Brittany's... You know, when the court deems Brittany healthy. This whole situation so, can we get a Leave Brittany Alone in the chat? Hey, speaking of Leave Brittany Alone, this is an interesting super chat that just came through. Uh, yeah. Fun fact, Chris Crocker, who was the Leave Brittany Alone person, uh, just sold an NFT, I'm assuming, of that meme for oh. $40,000. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. And cashing in on the uh, yeah. on the old meme. So he sold the video? I, I don't actually know. It, it didn't specify what the NFT was. Uh, that's what, I mean, that's, he he went viral for that. I don't, <laughs> so I imagine it had something to do with that meme. Here we go. I've got the link here. Man, who knew that he would be cashing in on this? Maybe it was he Britney Spears about Like two it. decades later. Yeah. That was so long ago. Let's Leave see. Her alone. <laughs> Still don't know what it means because, okay. I mean, I sold one for sixty thousand dollars. So what am I? For nineteen ETH. <laughs> Pretty good. Not bad, dude. Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Carlos needs some money. He he should he should sell the BitConnect meme. Oh. The comments right? disappeared for me. The comments? The chat? I turned it off. During oh. the, it, it was becoming quite unruly and toxic. And what so were people I, saying? Wait, what were people saying during the? Oh, I thought it was just my computer being weird. Wait, no. what happened? What were they saying? You guys need to fucking behave, dude. <laughs> what were they saying then? There, uh, there was a lot of um, arguing going on about um, the validity of the allegations against Jake Paul. There's people here really? watching this show that think that he, she should have just closed her mouth. Um. That's incredible. Wow. I didn't know that. I'd like to have one of those people call in and discuss. No. What? Mm. I want to hear their what logic. What is there to discuss? What is there to discuss? I want to hear their logic. I want to know who these people are. Aren't you curious? You don't. 
entertain those people. Dude. I don't know. I'm curious. I want to hear what the, like, a, how can your brain operate? Like, you know what I mean? After all this, they still are thinking, I'm going to find that interesting. I mean, obviously, I'm going to disagree with them. Well, I banned most of them, so I'm not going to be able to find them. So, hmm. <laughs> they're, and they're not going to be able to speak up. Do you care about Mike Mad Majlik and no. Lana Rhodes? No. Well, Mike actually, Aslick. Mike Mike Ma Aslick. 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 Uh, Aslick. Get it? Well, anyway, Lana dumped him. He's a douche. And um, but actually, David Porkboy, who is an enemy of the show, had Lana on, and there was kind of a funny encounter from it. Um, Pork Boy and his 18 year old friend who they have this podcast um, and they're super rude to, they were like super rude to Trisha right. they're super rude to Lana the whole time um, these guys it's just a super trashy show but there was a point at the end where he's like oh you, well you can leave or hang around and then they can, they just ignore her for the rest of the show you can you can sit around uh, or you can bounce. We just do sections, but like. <laughs> what do you mean we'll bounce? bounce? Can you plan your shit a little bit? Okay, so now uh, you can bounce at this point. I mean, I guess I can kind of see like maybe the thought maybe she would want to stay and like talk about whatever they're talking about. Well, you should discuss that ahead of time. Right. My first problem with this is why are they sitting so close they're sitting on a little table and they have notes and shit it's super fucking why is he sitting so close to her it's inappropriate he's sitting so close to her well i think yeah. they have to crowd to be on camera get another camera <laughs> um we famously had an incident just like this that people criticized us yeah. for yeah, years well, for. So maybe. Well, whatever. That was a long time ago. Glass house. Better now. <laughs> yeah, but you can understand where that might happen. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Look, for a boy, he's, he's the. Well, regardless, okay, who cares? It's funny. I mean, whatever. It's just funny. Oh, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, we're okay. not awesome. perfect. Yeah. I still so, laugh about all it. All right, what is going on with you look at her. and just Griffin, look at her. Who's Griffin. Now she, at time. least William wasn't on camera the whole time. Well, that was the whole point, is that we knew it would be awkward, and so we had him step outside. But look at her. If anything, we handled camera. it. I guess we did handle it a little better. Dude, regarding the William thing, I'm pretty sure I said to him beforehand, like, we're going to do this briefly, and we're going to... <laughs> we don't have to relitigate it. That, the whole Can thing why was so are you stupid. Bringing it up? Can we focus on the fact that he got her to sit so close well, to him? Well, I'll tell you what else. He made her play a game, Fuck, Mary Kill, with Logan, Mike, and him. <laughs> I was like, what is wrong with you, bro? There you, go. you are I mean, such the a The fact that he set the situation oh, no. to sit so close to her. No, Dave Porkboy is a total creep. I, like you a... guys are talking about auto stuff, and I can't get over this. Why are they sitting so close? <laughs> Actually, yeah, there's a lot more space on that couch. He's clearly trying to, like, yeah, when touch he, a little. When he made her play Fuck, Mary Kill, and she handled it great. She didn't even answer him. She goes, I would definitely kill Logan and fuck my ex-boyfriend. She didn't even include his <laughs> creepy bro. <laughs> Or, well, he's not, he's actually quite rich, but like broke spiritually. I don't like him. He's in horrible vibes. But like, you know, and he recently had like a sex take leap. Oh. I mean, it was consensual, but he was like spitting on her and had her on like a leash and was like, like choking her and shit. I read. I Wait, what? I'm yeah. Yeah. I Did any, about does that it, at all. Does anybody know about that? Dave Porkboy had a sex tape? Yeah. Yes, he had a sex tape. I'm not sure about all those details. I mean, I haven't heard about those details. I saw yeah, I him talking him. about it on Twitter. Uh, mm. He said, like, yes, I was spitting on her and choking her, but it was like, I'm, I'm just fucking, come. dude. I'm just doing my thing. It was consensual. She I mean, liked it. It's consensual, whatever. Yeah, it was I mean, consensual. It, yeah, man, like, but uh, who wants to watch that? I mean, fuck. Well, did he release it? Or did I don't it? know. I just don't like him, you guys. <laughs> that, that much I've gathered. <laughs> I don't like him either. I gotta. Can you guys scrub and find that fuck Mary Kill part? Because it's so awkward, and she handled it so good. You know, this whole interview—they're treating her like because she's a porn star, she has no fucking like uh, right to. Like, there's one part where she says someone was making her feel uncomfortable when he was like feeling her hair and shit. And then they watch the clip, and they're like, "Oh, he didn't do anything wrong." Like, well, mm -hmm. you know, they get this notion that because she's a sex worker, she can't be assaulted. And you get that vibe very much throughout this video. Yeah, that she's going to go on a date with him after the show. We talk shit about Lana? I don't remember talking shit about Lana. Huh? Baby you said you that? fuck, you talk shit about Lana. I didn't talk shit about Lana. I mean, no, I, I, you weren't trying to be uh, mean, but there was some discussion about... 
If you would date a porn star, that's all I remember. Yeah, we'll go with that. It was that. What? Go ahead. You brought it up. Let's hear it. I just, uh, how stretched out she is and... Oh. (laughs) Oh, yeah. You said really awful things about her. No, right. I totally forgot about that. (laughs) No, that was was old me. I'm enlightened now. (laughs) Thanks, A.B. (laughs) I tried to, I mean... He was yeah, trying to abort. He definitely <laughs> ruined my relationship with that one picture that he posted. Which was what? I don't know what's going okay, on. Okay, so... She's trying to, like, get I out of frame. I get FaceTime the other day, and I'm just sitting in my room, and he's like, I need scissors. And I'm like, why do you need scissors? And he won't tell me. So he comes I, to my I, room, I, and he's I like, I regret... To- I don't remember what I said, but that sounds fucked up. Yeah. I think we were having some debate about, like, if for... You know, whatever. We don't need to go over it. Yeah, but, yeah. we don't need to... Listen, I'm a douche. I embrace that. Anything else? Any other dirty laundry you want to bring up, AB? No. This was before Frenemies. Trisha set yeah, you straight. Exactly. Yeah. You can't blame me for anything that happened before Frenemies. <laughs> I'm full. It's true. <laughs> I am fully enlightened now. I've, I, or, I mean, I've, I've come a Ray long born. way, I think, to be totally honest. <laughs> Trisha's taught me a lot. Anyway, that's that. Okay, did you guys find the fuck Daddy, Mary Kill mm-hmm. part? Yeah, I actually like Lana. I think she's cool. Like from what I've seen about her in the videos with L- Mike, she's the reason that guy has any fucking drop of success is because it she's in like her. It like he really mistreated her. Yeah. From the things that I'm gathering, just I haven't looked too much into it, but he seems kind of like a douche. Oh yeah, totally. Well, she explains that like she bought a house for them, and she was really serious about the relationship, and then he was like. Right before they were about to move in, and he committed to moving in with her, he goes, oh, by the way, I'm making a, a fucking hype house with FaZe Banks. And uh, who was the other person? Uh, I don't recall. With, somebody, somebody equally cringes. Yeah, he, and I, so now I'm moving in with them. And she's like, what? She's like, fuck you. But she apparently was having, like, cyber sex with somebody on GTA 5, and it made her really upset. It was, like, really graphic role-playing cyber sex. What the fuck? Like, man. And he was doing it on a stream. And Bruh. she's like, that really upset me. I don't like that he did that. And then <laughs> these guys are like, oh, come, like, because she's a sex worker. It's mm. like, oh, come on. Like, come on. Who are, what are you? you know? It's like, God. look, she's, she has a like right to not. She's not, not entitled to um, want her boyfriend to be loyal to her. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, but it's like simulated, really uh, intense role playing. Hmm. So here's, here is Dave Porkboy trying to slide in with Lana. Mary Kill, we put this together late. It's Logan Paul, Mike Magilic. And Dave Portnoy. That, the, the fact that he included himself is so profoundly creepy. Ugh. So profoundly creepy. And she handles it like you a child. Maylap. 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 And then me. Anal now I have an undeniable photo here. So, it's so like, see, this is what I wanted for us to really wear for like oh, photos. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Look at her body posture, bro. She's so not into you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's stretching oh away from God. you. <laughs> you can't be any further yeah. away. I don't have any of that shit here. Dave, this is kind of unfair because the shirt that you put yourself in, you well, literally picked like the most sexy picture of you and then you have them fully dressed. For, for the record, I didn't pick the photos. I had nothing to do with it. We didn't have a game. Logan's wearing tux, which I think that's the best a guy can right, really. Can Mike kind of got fucked because he's just wearing yeah. normal things. You guys gave Mike the worst. So I, I, I would, I'd marry me. <laughs> uh, that's a no brainer. For me, because I think highly of myself. Yeah, um, I think I think I'll marry Dave. He Smart. could he could support my lifestyle. Oh, those guys could too. Uh, um. Oh, wait, she said that she would marry Dave. Okay, because he yeah, I missed Honestly, that part. Honestly, I probably have to kill Logan and fuck my ex. Yeah, I think that was probably the safe answer. She didn't really play though. Right. Yeah, yeah, probably was the yeah. best. Thing. I can't get over the fact that he hosts with an eighteen-year-old. Yeah. Holy fuck, you, I was sweating. You, you I was imagine? sweating for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You, you know, the safe, I, maybe the oh. safe answer actually would have been Mary Logan. 19, excuse Mike. me. So much fuck more mature whatever. than I thought. No, that would be no, extremely actually, weird. I can't. So embarrassing. <laughs> there you have it. We're not going to watch that other clip. I found that other one way funnier. Which one? Highlight it? The one of uh, Mike. On his stream. He calls her on stream because she said at some point that 
I guess she doesn't consider <laughs> that she was in a real. fake relationship with him. And he's like, wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here. What's going on today? Hey, Lana. Hey, Lana. From somebody who knows better than fucking anybody, this chick is completely blacked out. I mean, comp. Like, like, like. Nah, bro. She's just not into it anymore. You know how you see those models of the solar system? Like, is this supposed up? to be timestamp? Because this is eight minutes. Uh, yeah, you know? I don't. It was supposed to be. This is right. where it starts. It's. I should just watch from here. Like yeah. realm of of the universe. She doesn't even know what fucking planet she's on right now. Okay, so let's do it. How was your dinner tonight? Amazing. It was, it was good. good. But I'm sure my dessert. If you don't mind me asking, you you say you were coming out as, as what? I, I heard something. I'm coming out as lesbian. <laughs> what, what, what? With my fucking news to me. Girlfriend. <laughs> 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 Can I fuck her? <laughs> you turned her lesbian. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Dude. <laughs> That's it, man. That's like the most traumatic thing a guy can deal with. <laughs> 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 when, when did this happen? It's been a while. Well, it's been a bit. It's been a minute. But I was going to fake YouTube relationship. Fake YouTube relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? I'm sorry. What? Okay. People are like, what? Yeah, Mike. You just got owned, man. But after hearing that story, I get why she says that. Like She fucking hates him. She was planning for you guys to move together, and you just, on the day of the move, mm. on the day they were supposed to move, he told her he's going in another house. Hype house with FaZe Banks. <laughs> it sounds that's like right. it was, that, like it was like fake from religion. his perspective. Yeah, it makes her feel like it was fake. Yeah. Right. And by the way, he benefited greatly from that relationship. Yeah. Like, he benefited so greatly from that relationship. Um... Yep. I'm sorry, what was that? He calls her live. Yeah. This, by the way, he got in... Do we know if this whole R-word thing with Logan Paul happened or not? It's so confusing. I'm pretty skeptical that it did. Really? We haven't confirmed. Okay, so I won't even talk There's about it. There's no footage of it anywhere, so... I saw... Okay, so... There was some story about him calling Logan live and not telling him and Logan said something offensive, but there's been no corroboration of it, so I don't think... As for now, I have no proof. But what is the really... shitty move of calling someone liar? You can't do that. Yeah. How about you call? If you have a question about your relationship, how do you put you do when you're not streaming? Trying to monetize your relationship in every yeah. single fucking possible way. <laughs> hey, I just out of curiosity, did you say that we were in a fake YouTube relationship on uh, Kevin Wong's video? Yeah, what happened? Why did you? Like, oh, you don't know. I was really intoxicated. Was it a fake YouTube relationship? I honestly have no idea where that came from. Oh, you're on stream right now, by the way. I should tell you. Oh, by the way. Bro, he is such a fucking douche. Michael. <laughs> How do people endure him? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need uh, to make a laugh tier list. <laughs> Rice gum, Vin Diesel, oh. Mike. Mike. Tucker found his way onto that. Tucker found his way onto that. <laughs> right. Hila. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, apparently you said you didn't care about, but now we're interested. Yeah, I guess I did care about it. Oh, so here's another fun one. So Mike is trying to get Lana in his videos because they only get views when she's in it. And then she goes, you got to start paying me to be in your fucking videos. How many millions of dollars have you made off my off me? She says, well, I'm not going to be in your vlog without payment, period. You can't... She sent this on... She shared this on Instagram. <laughs> you can't record me without getting something. How much is the bag? Probably like 4500 Dude, that's so much. Do you guys want to have me on your show? You're so poor. No, I don't, lol. I'm the best guest ever. I was talked over by you for a year. I don't know why I would sign up for a whole hour of it. <laughs> that's such a good line. <laughs> and so many people would watch... Yeah. yeah, I don't think. Yeah, that's the not mad laugh right there. Forty five hundred. That's awesome. I gotta say, I am Team Lana. 
on this one, guys. I'm going to show the audience Alfredo. Real quick. Alfredo got a haircut. Oh, Fricko got a haircut. Look at this guy. Alfredo! Look at this guy. He's such a good boy. Hi. <laughs> He's the best dog He's ever. Best. I know it was you, Fredo. <laughs> I know, I know it, was it was you, Fredo. <laughs> Freddy. So sweet. So I know Jake and Logan very well. Wow, this was interesting, too. Um, Apparently, after they broke up, everybody blocked her, including Logan, which is like some real frat boy fucking insane weird shit. You ever heard anything like this? Like a, so I know Jake and Logan very well. Friends. Um, I wouldn't... I wouldn't actually me Logan has me blocked on everything right now, not because this, oh. but just after the breakup, Mike blocked me and all my friends and made his friends block me. Okay, as it was well. a block off. I did right. I did absolutely some little nothing. middle school shit <laughs> yeah, going on. Little fashion block. Why did you finish middle school? Didn't that guy just like finish middle school like a couple <laughs> years ago? Yeah. Some real medical <laughs> shit. I would know. I remember yeah, it very well. Take it from me. <laughs> Oh. Nothing. I just broke up with him and he blocked me on everything. What was the official reason for the breakup, by the way? Because I'm going to be honest, the okay. they want different things kind of sounds like just... Yeah. And the rumor yeah. was, yeah. which you told me was fake, that you that he was hitting on a girl in like a video game or something. No, no, that wasn't true. That that was a whole other scenario. Oh, so that you happened know, just, that's not why y'all broke up? He, no, that's not why we broke up. So okay. he was live on like GTA, you know, like the servers, yep. but it's yep. like real girls on mm -hmm. the other end and he was having virtual sex with them. But you didn't care about that? No, I, I cared. Like, it's real girls, and, like, you're, like, getting head from them, and you're, like, yeah, fucking suck my dick. Like, of course that's... Virtually. A, virtually. virtually. Yeah. But it's a real person. It's not like it's just a simulation. Work so you're having... Yeah, I know. He can't deal with this. He's like, but you're okay with that, right? Yeah. It's just virtual. <laughs> he's like, he's like, wait, how do you do this? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you sign up? Where do I sign yeah. up? Actually, <laughs> having phone sex with another right. woman. Is he streaming this or is he just. He's, he's streaming it and I'm watching it traumatized. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking how did, traumatized. How did you think he wasn't going to get caught? But this isn't why you said you broke up. <laughs> no, it's not why we broke up. I did have a massive issue with it, but he said he would never do it again. So I'm like, okay, fine. Fair. And we've had plenty of issues, our fair share of issues, of him being inappropriate with other women. But that's besides the point. We officially broke up because he finally told me I got a house for us, actually. And he told me he was going to move in with me, broke up with me the day that he was supposed to move in. That was another time. And then the second time, he told me he was going to move in with me. And then the next day, comes over and says, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm making a content house with Banks because FaZe is leaving, and I'm going to move there now. The day after telling me that he was going to move in with me, I was like, just get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, that's some deep level bullshit. Wow. Hey, baby, I know I said we were going to move in, but I'm actually moving in with FaZe Banks. <laughs> so I can get my dick sucked in GTA. FaZe <laughs> <laughs> Banks? Hey, baby, I love you, but I uh, got to move in with FaZe Banks. <laughs> With Logan Paul moving, I got to make moves, baby. How did he mess that one? <laughs> I know, it dude. It feels like she gave him a lot of chances. I know. <laughs> and she's like... And this she's is way like, above him. This is like a strong, <laughs> independent woman who's like independently <laughs> wealthy, very successful, beautiful. beautiful. And this guy <laughs> is a goon. And he <laughs> fucked this up so bad. I'm just shocked. Yeah, I know. Oh. Well, I hope Faze Banks. I hope Faze Banks is a good companion to you. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he's a good cuddler, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy's such a fuck up. <laughs> There's one other story I have here. How long have we been going? I have one more story. We have been going for two hours. Two hours. Oh, almost exactly. We're gonna go for a date today. That's pretty fun. You mentioned. And it's my cheat meal day, which means daddy gets to eat food. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Fred. Fucking fried chicken. What, so like, what are we? We're gonna, down, you want to get Italian? Yeah. Okay, I guess when it is your cheat day, so you decide. Who deserves fried chicken? Basically, Me. I I just realized to get Ethan to do anything, I I have to make the plan, tell him where to be, when, and it's gonna involve food. <laughs> and it's gonna be great. That helps. <laughs> it helps. There is an insinuation there. I'm not yeah. sure I like, but it helps for sure. No, it's Friday, like, baby. I mean, look, I've tried. You, you, you like being home. What can I say? You don't care about going out. Well, there's been a fucking pandemic too. I know, but hard to do stuff. No, we used to, to go we out. We used to do stuff all the time before the panty. 
But the pen, it's okay. Like, you can eat outside. Friday, baby, yeah! Let, I'm excited. I mean, I just never thought... Oh, I have my second vaccination today, too. Yeah. Moderna, baby. Moderna? It's Friday. I deserve Moderna. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Friday, second baby, shot. yeah! <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna feel, like, so awesome once I get the second shot. And in, like, two weeks, I'm gonna be like... Moderna, baby. 94.1%. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fucking it's one of my And it, even nights. if you catch it, it protects against severe illness. Yeah, baby. I deserve Moderna. Fuck, baby. <laughs> you know, can, um, speaking of White Claw Gabe, since we're winding down to the end, I'm just going to go freestyle here. Let's go. Friday, baby, yeah! A Friday, baby! <laughs> why, why is it not showing up my... My TikTok account. So here's the one I just Friday, put out, baby. by the way. You guys might enjoy it. It's Friday, baby. Fuck. Yeah. It's the weekend, baby. Fuck. Yeah. Friday, but I put, baby. You know, I put out this TikTok that you guys all liked, but everybody's clowning on me in the comments saying that it's like... <laughs> yeah, they're really? saying it's like uh, iMac kit or something. What's that? It's when it goes... Poof, 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 poof. And I, I don't know, but people were clowning on me. They say... Wait, clowning that it's not good? He's an what? iPad kid at this point. I don't know what that means. <laughs> they say, with war and hate, this is giving me Shane Dawson TikTok energy. I don't know what that really? means either. What, what did I do? I, I, everyone's know. calling me an iPad kid. What is that? I don't Maybe. know. But I don't know. <laughs> Everybody knows what it is but us. Ethan, I'm worried. Are you being held hostage? Ian, you're the keeper of culture. Someone even said foot soldiers. I think it's time we pick a new foot lord. Like, I'm sorry. Really? You Ian, gonna be People are on? fucking clowns. This is like the <laughs> only TikTok you've ever made that made me laugh out loud. I was oh, dying laughing. Warren, I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. I don't know what's the <laughs> iPad. We're too old. Dan. We're too old. Yeah, it's like TikTok for me. All the other shit sucks. Yeah, no, garbage. <laughs> Everything you're putting out, garbage. Yeah, I know, that's <laughs> what I picked up from that, too. Dan's like, all your other shit makes me fucking sick. <laughs> really? And you didn't Thank find you one did. funny? I, I'm just being a little over the top. But so this definitely made me laugh the hardest of anything that you've made. So what's an iPad kid? I looked it up, and it, the Urban Dictionary thing on iPad kid is just more confusing. Basically, it's just quackity. That's it. <laughs> I'm like, quackity? what the fuck is quackity? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. The king of all raids across... This is like some Roblox shit. But everybody know, knows man. what we're, iPad we're kid all... is. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> everybody who's under 16. Just we're old. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're just old. boomers. I want to know. I, wanna, I don't want to be out of touch. I want to know what's an iPad kid. I mean, I think I get it. Some nerd it's, on iPad. It's, it's like, quackity. That's all you need to know, apparently. <sighs> I don't know what that I means. I mean, my, my first guess was... Okay, like, boomer. Some, Someone who's young who has an iPad and they're just making TikToks like without really. Their that's knowing. what you took from iPad Kid. That doesn't I mean, say I, much, JP. That's literally I mean, what it's in. That's what they said. They said iPad Kid. But I mean, like my little cousins, like they we found out like one of my nephews has like a bunch of TikToks of him doing like really cringy Wait. dances that he was making on his iPad without telling anyone. Oh, I think I'm starting to understand. So it's like a kid that their parents don't pay you any attention to him and they iPad. just give him an iPad oh, to raise okay. him. An iPad. Right. Oh, so that's not yeah, necessarily yeah. hating on you. Oh, because they're making the joke like Ela left me with the iPad. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I mean, that's kind of funny. Yeah, uh, that is funny. Ela left me with the iPad again. We were being too defensive. <laughs> but why do they say Shane Dawson TikTok energy? That I took offense to. <laughs> I don't know on that one. Hey, Zach, did you guys ever get resolution about who suggested filming you moving? It was AB. <laughs> yeah, he called me and he, to apologize. He's like, I'm so sorry for what Wait. happened. Zach, and, don't push me, bro. Don't push me. And, <laughs> I'm telling you and right he's now. like, it was all See, my fault. See, I could fault. tell Zach was just lying right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy. No, I'm still standing that AB did come up with the idea first. <laughs> I'm still sticking to well, that. I don't give a fuck what the polls say. Fake news. Hold on. It's... Did we took a poll on where was it, Dan? Oh, really? Can you Instagram. someone link me oh, the poll? Love set it up. Is on yeah. Instagram or something? Or TikTok? yeah, Instagram story. Yep. Instagram. Yeah. Somebody or we took a poll. We said, "Who do you think is telling the truth, A, B, or Zach?" Yeah. And I believe it was seventy percent A, B. Wow. Thirty percent Zach. Although I have to say, thirty percent towards Zach is pretty a lot, considering A, B literally showed a screenshot of Zach that saying we should film it. So just so when I was said, listening, this election was a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> that was very appropriate. 33% Zach. Zach. 
I oh, you got the results? Zach was right when I listened. What? what? Thank you, Ayla. Ayla, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, she's just trying to stir the fucking pot. No, it, that was my feeling because. That message was pretty. That was a slam dunk. That text. Yes, message. but he's saying that AB probably mentioned it in a call before. Mm, I know. He did yeah. mention it in a call. He did. This is some Watergate shit. You so know, why did you, but then, okay, but then why did you bring it up in that fashion? Like you guys never <laughs> talked about it before. Well, how so? Because if if AB brought it up originally, it's odd that you would bring it up a second time. Like you guys never talked about it. You said we should film it, lol. And then AB responded as if you guys had never talked about it as well. AB said that could be fun or something like that. Well, I need I need to entice him to help me move. I mean, like you know. I, I, you know, I need his help. So I'm like, oh, yeah, dude loves filming. So I'm like, oh, you want to film it? You know, mm, you want like to make it interesting a, for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so, so are you saying that you just suggested it? That's what that's No, 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 no. I'm repeating what you said. He's saying he <laughs> knew you wanted to do that. And so to sweeten the deal for you, he expressed, like, we can do this thing you want, which is filming. Right, right. right. You, you, for, you forgot, AB. You forget, but I, I always know. <laughs> Zach, I'm trying to hold back right now. <laughs> Why are you holding back? Why are you holding back? There's 33% of the audience thinks that you're lying. Thank you, my supporters. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> okay. it. I hope this doesn't, I hope this doesn't make me sound like a douche. So uh -oh. you got, okay, I'll break it down. So that day after we stopped shooting, I'm thinking, why was Zach saying this? How could he betray me? I know it's kind of like a meme that uh, I'm a clout goblin, but I'm like, does Zach really think that way about me? What, what have I done? So I was pondering this and I started thinking about it. And I remember that Zach and Ian sort of have like a non-official competition on Instagram to see who has more followers. Not it's not really Ian. It's more like Zach trying to pass what? Ian. What? Go ahead. Wait, hold on, Zach. Let me be finished. I'm pulling it's, Ian into this now. Hold on, hold on, It's not Ian. Go ahead, It's not Ian. Zach wants to pass Ian, right, for that number one spot. Um, on that day of that episode, I passed Zach on Instagram. And I'm not saying that's why, but I'm, I... That's the only reason I could think that Zach would go to that length to make up a lie that I, uh... Did you pass me on Instagram? Good for you, dude. Okay, I now, mean, hold on, hold on. Let me recap. I'm sure you'll pass me after this, but... This is not helping the clout goblin narrative, by yeah, the way. Bringing the up fuck? Instagram follow accounts. Let, let, me, let, me <laughs> let me recap. Let me recap. Mm -hmm. So, AB has now put forth... Wait, what, Ian? I'm like, is this what you guys talk about on your Monday call? <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it's very much, hi, how are you, you know? <laughs> Let, let's Hi, see. how okay. are you? You're Welcome to my 40, channel. You hit 40,000. Okay. Hold on. Let Wait. me put, let me recap here before we move on. AB has put forth a theory that Zach is harboring malicious intentions <laughs> because AB passed him in Instagram <laughs> followers on that day. Um, and that's in your, he's in a sense lashing out at you in a, in a type of jealous uh, a jealous attack. rage, yeah. yeah rage. Zach, how do you respond to that? My hand to God, I had no idea he passed me. My hand, his to hands to God, God, AB. Your response then help me piece it together. Then, why you're lying about us? Uh, why are you lying? <laughs> why, why am I the only liar? I'm literally, I can't think of another. What, what is it then? What the fuck are you talking what, about? You suggested you're it. the one with the camera. Look, you, look you, why? Like, I, it's fucking 2021. Everyone has a goddamn camera. I, I don't have, have a camera. A camera. <laughs> I, I don't have a camera. I don't. If you want to buy so, me a camera, okay. But Zach, no, I don't have a, I have a question. Yes. Um, have you felt in other scenarios that AB did something with you just to record it or that? Uh, no, no, okay. no, no. I've never felt that way. Because I was about... wondering if maybe you were having some feelings that kind of caused this friction. No, no, no. I, I, I was just bringing it up. I didn't think it would turn into a big deal. But, you know, well, AB wanted to throw down, so now we're fucking throwing down right now. That's all I'm saying. And well, it's pity he won't admit the truth. So I think you, I mean, you guys are following your Instagram followers closely, eh? And, and Ian, are you in competition to see who can have the most? Is that something that's going on? Ian I mean, confused. I've just been informed apparently I am, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, that, let me clarify. Let me clarify. Ian signed it on that. Ian and Dan don't post like me and Zach. It's me and like Zach are, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Ian. Ian. Ian's Instagram is popping though. Like he does, he rarely posts, but like when he does post, they're so you guys all are famous. very. You guys are following each other's numbers. It sounds like. Well, there's I, a little honestly, bit of a cloud. My, what this is, Ian? There's a little bit of a cloud. My hand to God. 
Here, Zach, I'll, I'll, I'll print out my analytics for you. I'll pass yeah. along. <laughs> I had no idea of this. AB's like, oh, this is why. Dude, I hey, don't know. I don't know. It's okay. It's it's nice. Nice. Hey, it doesn't make me look good. It, make, it does make me look like Cloud Goblin to bring up that argument, but I'm really trying to understand then. Wow, what a great so attorney you are. On saying what a great that attorney I brought it up when you brought it up. What a great attorney you are. Okay, guys, let's take a look but at AB, the... You did say, like... I don't want to say that he did that, but here is what he did. <laughs> like, kind of. That thing. is the shittiest <laughs> argument I've ever heard. Because he keeps going. He keeps going. Like, this is the second episode we're talking. Why about. won't you admit? I'm saying, that help why me you, understand. Help me I understand. Then. Why well, let me you ask you guys it? this. Let, hold, let, I just want to say, Zach cannot lie. You can immediately see on his face when he's lying. Well, let me ask you guys this. <laughs> it seems that you both genuinely believe you're telling the truth. Right. He doesn't. He does. I know this motherfucker does. So, so Zach. Okay. So Zach. <laughs> this week it was this. Last week I was lying about the foot, the foot thing when it was between me and Dan or whatever it was. What foot thing? What, what are you talking? Why are you going off on tangents? Like, Wait. What? Yeah. Hold on. Now, no. Hold on. No. Because A B, there was a conspiracy for A B to f pass me on Wiki feet. Now, and if you, you need any, now that is a capital offense. You're lucky I don't take your head for that, bro. <laughs> That's some Did bullshit. You forget, did you forget the results it, of that investigation? And it, and it was me that was pushing that. Yeah, but it, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you told him not but, to. Yeah, yeah no. Ab thought I was guilty. Out. Yeah. Okay. But so what did Zach have feet. to do with this? No, I'm just saying. Every week I'm being blamed. <laughs> because it is your fault. <laughs> Let me look at your guys' Instagram followers here. For both so, situations, we had proof that it wasn't me. That's true. We are forgetting there's a message of Zach saying we should film it. But hold on. Let's look at Zach's followers because there seems to be some friction here about who has the most followers on Instagram. Zach has 3.39,900. But Trouble in Paradise. AB, who's just joined... He's been here only, what, like, how long you been with us, A.B.? Uh, since August. So. Since August, so not even, like, not even a year. And, a and Zach, you've been with us for how long? Uh, going on three years. So A.B. has managed to pass you, barely, uh, in such a short time span. What is going on here? Zach? I'm happy for him. I'm genuine. This is the first I'm hearing it. A.B. thinks you're, you're uh, pissed about it. Nah, I really don't care. Correct me if I'm wrong, but AB, didn't you? You already kind of had a social media following before you joined, so you're kind of starting. With well, like, what uh, do you have? I had, I had, I had two thousand followers. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah. okay. But fair it's my, it's my TikTok. That's why I'm getting. It's because of my TikToks recently. He's TikTok star. Uh, I don't think. Uh, okay. Then you go over to Ian though. Ian is the god. He is the king of Instagram. Ian kills with it. With forty-one thousand. <laughs> He fucking kills it. And I'm so happy that... I mean, Ian's posts are bangers every time. Bangers I agree. every time. <laughs> every Dan, fucking slacking. Time. Dan, you are slacking big time. Dan, mm -hmm. what do you have to say for this poor showing here on Instagram? 31.9. That's that's quite all right. Dan, not unbothered by the... Because uh, Dan doesn't post. I hardly ever post. I mean, look, the last yeah. post was the, from the anime thing that we did like three yeah, months ago. So old. Mm. Dan, unbothered. <laughs> kind of just the, over Instagram, to be honest. I don't open that app yeah, almost Instagram ever is a anymore. Little tired. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's how I'm feeling about it too. Kind of. Yeah, I'll admit I still post on there, but I don't. I. It's like, look, it, I, I'm very happy for you, AB. I am, and that's my hand to God. That was no. Well, light. here's the real question. Then it seems everyone's moved on to TikTok. What are what are our TikTok followers at? Oh, AB kills me in that. AB has got a big following. I don't have a TikTok account. I don't, I don't know what your uh, handle is. Star underscore Star Killer. It was quick. Who left? Plug that. Who left? Zach, are you laughing? <laughs> you just plugged your shit. <laughs> <laughs> he legit just said what? You, I don't know. What well, I didn't ask. I said I don't know it, but he did offer it. He off, but I'll oh, say no. AB offered it really fast. <laughs> AB offered it really, really fast. <laughs> S T A. R I K L L A. Don't yeah, forget the underscore. Open. I've got it up here. <laughs> Don't forget that underscore. You can find me. You can also find me at the same place on Instagram, Facebook, MySpace. Yeah, your your LinkedIn is popping on on TikTok. Hmm? Uh, AB's. Um, have you guys been seeing his posts of waking up his wife Lena? Yeah, they're uh, hilarious. Uh, genuinely so good. I, I've been. It's been cracking me up every day. 
I was a little afraid they're too much, like, too close to, like, YouTube prankster, but when Dan said there, he likes them, I was like, all right, no. I'm, co I'm cool now. No. You're a very I, talented kid, It does give kid, me a baby. little PTSD, if I'm going to be honest. PTSD? Of, um, of YouTube pranksters. Oh. Here, but, let's, let's, this is the one that went viral here. Oh, I can't listen to music. Can, can, but they oh, are God, without music, it's so bad. It's a prank, bro. So there's just prankster music playing. Sahur is when the sun goes down and you can eat. Is that right? No, it's the last time we can... Yeah, oh. it's the last time we could eat before the sun comes up. Okay. Oh, so you guys eat super early? Yeah, we right, eat before, like before before sunrise. That's such a pain in the ass. You gotta wake up super early. What time is it? Oh my god, it's like five. Oh fuck that! Do you ever just slip in and just say fuck it? No, I used to, but now I'm I'm trying to keep up with it because I usually I'm up anyways. Yo, that's mm. the worst part. You gotta wake up at five a.m. Like I thought, not drinking water during the day, but if I had to wake up at five a.m. to eat, bro. Mm -mm. Yeah. Do you do you shit in the morning, EB, or like, what is that process like? Let me ask you no, this. It breaks your fast. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, let me ask you this, AB, and you be honest with me. Yeah. Are all of these 100% real? Yes. Okay. And the da, last, da, da, da. the last one I even cut off because you can't even see her face in it. <laughs> like it was just, it just, I didn't get a good reaction, so I just cut She's it off. She's never in on it. No, she's never in on it. Well, she'll <laughs> see like sometimes, like she'll see like the wood, and she'll be like, "What's that for?" I'm like, "You'll see." Okay. okay. Well, and he's doing it daily, so yeah, like so she's aware at this too, point right. to expect. But it was she more, really bro. woken up like this? Like she looks so freaked out. Yeah. So I just, no, Lena always like if you even if I'm just like to touch her or say like quietly like Lena, it's time to wake up. She'll freak out even more. <laughs> she always like sprouts out of bed. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> We well, go. I have to say they are very, they're humorous and they're great. Yeah, I, I, I could tell that it's not fake and that is why I do like them. <laughs> um, so there you go. Or the Sahur. The, the Sahur. So do you guys series. go back to sleep? Uh, I usually go to sleep for the first time. Um, Lena, <laughs> this was my favorite. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Wake up. And Lena? Lena will sometimes, or sometimes she'll stay up, or we'll like we'll go to the gym because they open up the gym in our complex. So, here, play, put on the sound, Dan. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> now, let me ask you: Does she want to be woken up? Yes. Okay. She does. Okay, yeah. that's a good. Just <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wake up, nine eleven. <laughs> Today's seven day, what happened in 2001? <laughs> yeah. There you go. AB crushing it. Zach, what's your uh, TikTok up. to bring balance? I honestly, I, I don't even he doesn't care. Even, he doesn't even know. Wait. Yeah. Oh, you don't know? You don't care he's, about it? No, he's just trying to play it cool. He's playing it cool. <laughs> oh, you're playing like it? Come here, TikTok. Z Louis. Z vinyl. Oh, Z yeah. Z V I N Y L. Let's see what um, let's see what Zach's up to. Can you link me? I, uh, these searches don't ever work. <laughs> Z vinyl. Type Z vinyl. Z. Vi okay, you don't need to watch me type. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Silence. Uh, I was sent a link. Thank you, Ian. Better. Okay, we got 24,000. That's not gonna, that's, you know, we're getting there. Hey, this one, hey, you got a lot of views on these last ones. Just like his wife. Why? Wow, these got a lot of views. People started, like, doing that trend, too. Like, oh, this really? one was so dumb. <laughs> oh, thanks. Didn't I comment, though? <laughs> Did I comment on this one? I yeah, think you, it was the one before that. Okay. You just, it was on it. You commented on on Instagram, I think. You just oh, stand there and then put on a Joker mask. This one has one hundred eighty thousand. It's just you play this song just to give us a little taste. Yeah, so it's just oh oh Zach with the suit. No, well I look damn good. I'm, I'm feeling confident. You do look yeah. good. Well, the you top comment good. is he is so fine. There you go. What you doing, Zach? Nothing. Actually, if you want to call me Cloud Goblin, it would be my duets to these two videos of Zach's. Yeah, so what AB will do is he'll duet my videos and then hope he gets more views on the duet. I, well, I do a duet where I don't do anything. I just sit there like Jinx, you know, the old YouTube channel, and then it gets like 100K views. It does? So shout out to Zach, yeah. 
You guys are on a cloud off a little bit. <laughs> cloud off. Hey, he you can have it, it's man. It's a one-way cloud off, it sounds like. Sounds like AB's winning it. the cloud off at every turn, Zach. And Zach I'm happy actually for did him. the duet first. Let I me add, let, Zach, Zach reacted to a clip hey, from Zach, the podcast. What's with the bleach hair? Are you, what, are you following my lead? Are you, is this a solidarity thing? What's going on with the bleach hair? I, I mean, I'm the goal. Oh, my God, Zach. <laughs> that's me. Thanks for pointing to yourself to make it clear that, that that's you in that clip. Okay, I got to watch this. I gotta watch this. What's with the bleach this. hair? Are you, what, are you following my lead? Are you, is this a solidarity thing? What's going on with the bleach hair? I, I mean, I'm the golden boy, and I have to outdo <laughs> AB with simpness. And I see that Zach is... Uh... Yeah, you didn't in know. In solidarity. Yeah, Zach's in solidarity. I'm trying Over to get simp. I'm trying Over to get simp. Get simp. I can't. <laughs> People are saying, leave Zach alone. I support Zach in the cloud off. I'm team Zach. <laughs> I want Thank everyone. You, I, I'm for sure. Because Big it's not surprise. fair. It's not surprise. <laughs> I mean, it's not fair that AB is, is, has, is edging out. Well, thank you, Ethan. That's very nice of you. You're welcome. Zach, I'm sure, will pass me in like a day. And Zach has better engagement, too. I, I'm telling you, it's literally just from TikTok people. Well, speaking and I'm sure of, after this episode, Zach will be higher than me. So God bless. Mm, I don't know. You can, you can well, have it. Speaking Fine. of cloud, we'll check in on this later, you guys. Uh, <laughs> no, on, on a serious note, I wish you all a cloudy... Cloud, cloudy cloud and lots of cloudy followers. I, I just want AB to admit that he's the one that brought it up first. <laughs> and tell me, tell, tell me, okay, hold up. I just no. want you to fucking admit it. It's not true. So tell me what is the real reason then? This is, this clout thing was me grasping at anything I could. Bro, bro. No. Huh. Dude, just, just, just admit it. I'm going to need okay. something more than bro. In a court no, of no, law, no. you would be, you know, your honor. Look at the track record no in a court of law you would definitely be and, guilty yeah no AB yeah. actually had <laughs> evidence <laughs> in a court of law you can't go bro yeah you're going bro. to jail for life if this is a court of law anyway mo speaking of clout then we'll end up i need that clout so there's this 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 story i thought was super interesting i need that clout so there's this japanese girl super cute young girl who rides her motorcycle all over the country here she is and she's got fans that follow her and stuff, and she's cruising everywhere. And it's like, cool, young girl, likes a uh, cute girl, likes motorcycles. Lots of people are interested in this. Well, there's a twist, my friends. <laughs> Came out that this account is actually run by a 50-year-old man named Soya who uses <laughs> face a face filter app to go from this... <laughs> to this it's amazing it's so amazing you're not you don't even have to be who you are anymore and also this girl looks so real like that looks like yeah. a real person wow he does have nice hair his hair so. is beautiful <laughs> so the hair is yeah. a filter the hair is absolutely <laughs> That's what gorgeous sells it. <laughs> can oh, you believe this shit he goes nobody cares about a 50 year old man driving around a motorcycle so it made myself a cute young girl that's so funny and then he and then he got like 2 million followers, right? <laughs> yeah, he got something. Because like, he was right. So he went on this Japanese show and uh, came out, so to speak. Is that you could see his real face in the uh, side view what? mirror in the reflection. No. Oh. Where, do you have that photo? Uh, let me see if I can find it. I'm reading an wow. article about it right now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right. You know how many dudes are jerking off to that shit, probably? Talk to me, baby. You got the photo? Let's see. Oh, you found the, the, the accidental one? I'm, I'm looking for it right now. Yeah, if you, it's, on the, it's, in the right, it's in the right mirror, I believe. Say what? Go back. It's in one of these? Yeah. For real? I think that's what he's saying. The next one? Oh. So he posted his fo his micro motorcycle. There you go. And you can see a dude holding the phone right here. Clearly a dude. And a face here. Here's his face. <laughs> can you zoom in more? Um, that's all I got. Mm. But you see his face there and you see his see body. See a little there. bit of the face, wow. yeah. Oh, the mirror. Oops. They get you every time, man. You had such a thing Oh, going. I'm such an idiot. I wasn't showing on screen. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> man. Because <laughs> I was trying to find it. I'm sorry. 
We found it. I, I know. Okay, so here he is. And I, oop. Here he is in the mirror of his motorcycle. Here's his body. Here's his face. Huh. Dude, some dude's dick in hand, like, uh, he's like, huh? Oh. Wait, wait, what is that? So there you go. So, Zach, if the clouding doesn't work out, you That's can pretend okay. to be a cute chick on a motorcycle. Although you might have a be a future having a cute being a cute guy on a motorcycle based on those comments. True. <laughs> I can't believe you did a honk TikTok. Oh, he does those all the time. I was good about myself, that day. No, but he's got a bunch of those. People are feeling good, too, because they were all about it. They, people feeling, are like, you look good, Zach. Real good. Good viewership. Yeah. I look good in a suit. TikTok's different say? than the real world in Zach's defense. Zach. What does that mean? Like, it's like cringe levels Here are we different. Go, bringing me down. I'm putting you up, motherfucker. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to bring you up. I'm not sure. I'm, Explain yourself. I'm saying that, like, on TikTok, like, you, it's okay. For, like, when Zach, Dan was saying, oh, Zach's pointing at himself. Like, that's, that's how TikToks go. Everyone always, you know, points at the duet. It's normal behavior. Mm. Is there Trisha news? What were you looking at? People were saying Trisha is going off on Twitter, so I was looking. Should I pull it up? I and mean, we have nothing else to talk about. It seems like something with Gabby. Oh, God. Gabby Han has been trending for, like, a week. I got to give it to her for that one. Really? What for? She's just, she's just, yeah, that's the nicest way to put it. Just being a spaz. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, if I'm being serious, I pro I think she's probably going through some psychiatric mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Like, she's not acting normal. Really? I don't know. She's just, like, fighting with everyone and beefing and posting pictures like, I'm sexy and I could fuck your mom and your dad. Uh -oh. But she's not, I don't know, she seems kind of, like, not. Like manic a little bit? Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to get into all this. That's not not without checking out ahead of time too. Blah blah blah. But get it, but I feel for Gabby. Blah 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 I'm sure we'll talk about it on Frenemies. Oh, so you guys may be wondering, we watched Jeff Wittick's second part of his documentary, which is crazy because it shows that uh, David was the one, not only, he was operating the excavator, driving it, and caused Jeff's accident. And you can even see when Jeff has the accident, David is driving the excavator, no license, no professionals there. He's got his one hand on the controls and another camera. He's holding like this, filming it. Mm -hmm. And it's in that moment that he goes too fast and slams Jeff into the metal side part of the excavator and f breaks his skull open. I missed the mark with that one. You sure <laughs> did, David. People were asking throughout the show if we were going to talk about it, but I thought you wanted to see oh, yeah. it for months. Well, I just wanted to address that. We're, we're going to talk about it. Actually, interestingly... Monday, we're going to not only talk about it, but Jeff, I think, is going to call in as well on Monday. So, nice. So, that should be good. I look forward to talking to him about it. I have a lot of questions. Yes, Dan, why are you laughing? Well, just that went so well last time that for him. Well, I'm just surprised that he's willing to, to do it again. But, I mean, kudos well, to him. No, it's, it's not, I wonder if it's he'll, not uh, a contentious call. I wonder if he'll want, if he'll want to fight Thanks, me again. Dan. I feel like things ended on a good note. Yeah, though. I think so too. So. It was rough, but he, like, the first part was rough. He went back. He issued a, a good correction. We said nice things about him on the podcast. And he's telling his story now, which, like, you know, is good and powerful. Because he's all these guys have been spending the past year pretending like David didn't almost kill somebody for a vlog. And now Jeff is putting it all out there. And David's been trending because people see this footage and it's not like um, Jeff was trying to make a statement like my David killed me and this and that. It was just plainly obvious from the footage. Yeah, it speaks yeah. for itself. That David is just incredibly irresponsible, dangerous really even, honestly. I mean, how could he have ended that thing in a safe way? He couldn't. The situation was, was going to be... Uh, End in disaster. Yeah. Well, you know what's interesting? If you've watched his documentary, which I don't know if you did I yet. haven't yet. So Corinna originally steps up to do that stunt. And she it's immediately out of control. And she, mm -hmm. says, she says, David, put me down. And she goes, David, you take shit way too far. Oh. Let me off of this. Angry. And then wow. Jeff steps up to do it. And he That's gets, you know, almost dies, frankly. He really yeah. almost dies. 
And then I saw a lot of people okay. say Ethan. like, <laughs> and we all thought that David uh, stopped vlogging for COVID. Yeah, like, he yeah, stopped right. vlogging because he almost killed somebody. Yeah. You know, and I think that probably freaked out a lot of people. But what's interesting, and we're going to discuss on Monday, is that this isn't the first time or even the second time that David has inflicted dangerous injuries on people for his vlogs. I think even third or fourth. Yeah. When we were talking about it the other day. Yeah, because there was the motorcycle and the that pool That dude thing. almost died. Apparently. That dude almost died. And then there was another, that Alex guy got his eye fucked up. He's fucked yeah. up multiple people's eyes. Yeah, and then there was a story. Wow. He told, had a childhood story of a friend where he threw a, a pine cone at his eye and he got an infection and almost died and he lost a leg. And David is always God. like, it's so, <laughs> it's so, <laughs> so he almost died. And <laughs> it's like, even in this Jeff documentary, he's like, <laughs> I almost killed him. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's a whole story that you guys are going to do Monday. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to talking to Jeff about it. And uh, Trisha get to say, I told you so to everyone, because so many people were saying that she lied mm -hmm. about the story. Yep. yep. Not only that, she put out a video years ago when she left the vlog squad saying that David was dangerous and was going to get someone seriously oh, yeah. hurt or, or killed. Yeah. She was wow, right about every fucking you. thing. Crazy. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's about all I've got here today, folks. What are you going to do if my brother passes you on Wikifit? Because people are saying that he's actually getting close. He doesn't have the votes. Like, here. Is that going to become a family problem? <laughs> well, there's going to be a foot war. You know that. World War F. I mean, he doesn't have the votes. He, do, he who are you kidding? Like he's at five point nine nine right now. That's not. That's I not even close. I want to smell feet. Hi. Uh, I mean, but it's like, closer at, than anybody else. Okay, hold and on. Then it's me, Ryan Zach right behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not? Dude, somebody, rating? somebody made one for me, and I don't even know what. The <laughs> that was picture. awesome. Oh, really? I don't so even here, know what the Here's the official Wiki feet scoreboard. I want to talk about feet now. First of all. 6.8 versus 5.9. I mean, no, he's close. But the issue yeah, with yeah, Moses is, if I'm being honest, you have 79 picks of me versus 9 of Moses. And let's be honest here. Oh, what are you people doing? Why are the foot fairies going so hard for Moses? <laughs> he doesn't even have feet picks. Like, what? what is this? These are not. I put up my feet for you people, and this is how you <laughs> reward me? Why is Moses inching in on me? I mean, this is outrageous. Did Trisha do this? Was Trisha calling feet. for this? <laughs> Was Moses calling for this? Who's responsible for this? I don't know. <clears throat> it could be independent actors. Independent actors going. I there's yeah. a mastermind behind this movement. <laughs> Dan, it's. I mean, you were doing a conspiracy on Discord. I know. You fucking know anything? You better tell me. I if I did, I would tell you. But um, no. So then I'm, I'm not part act? of this conspiracy. Listen, Dan, tell him, or I'm gonna get blamed for it. If no, there is anything. No. no. <laughs> okay. We Listen, love Dan. There's there are uh, there's compartmentalization in this conspiracy. I only know my component of it, which, which is which you the no, great you, betrayal that you're already Say aware it. of, <laughs> which is that it would be hilarious if somebody on the staff passed you on WikiFeed, which I still stand by. It would be funny. It's Hit not funny. It's not funny. I don't see what's funny about that. <laughs> well, anyway, Moses is coming up second, so I wouldn't, you know, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, he, hey, he's a good guy. Zach coming in hot. Here, oh, we got a new photo of Zach. The whole top, <laughs> the whole top ranking. This one's is... pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's all, just all of us. us. And then, so Dan has been. Oh, what? Wait, how did you get up here, Dan? No. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Dan! <laughs> You're on the top, too. Uh-huh. But it's just like... What's the picture? Okay, so I, Dan I kept saying, I'll never out. show my feet. Dan <laughs> keeps saying, I'll never show my feet. I'll never show my feet. <laughs> well, somebody... What the fuck are these, Dan? These look like snuff films. What is this? I, I don't what know. Is, is, that is that your foot? I can't even tell. It's like four pixels. <laughs> I want to talk about feet. Dude, this photo's going to be the one that brings us all down. I you imagine people I reported it. Seriously? You did? Because, well, because it's, it's not even necessarily my feet. How do you know? It sounds like there's a chance. <laughs> I mean, it could be. 
I mean, it's not anything from my uh, social media or whatever. How is it that I you like were it. all on the top? Like, these people need to step their feet game up. Like, this guy's number... T- this is the guy behind us. <laughs> these are all conspiracies. I feel like this whole website is just conspiracies. I like it. This guy's got the best <laughs> feet in the game? No. Look pretty average. Exactly. Definitely not. Look at the next person. This guy, Joe. Joe's trying real hard with the feet. Joe's... Oh, yeah. Let's check out Joe's feet. Oh, is he? Like he's another. He's another. Guy? Joe Biden. Well, there was. Look, he's like on a podcast. Is this a foot thing? Is there people starting to get in the war? <laughs> mm. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Listen, I don't think it's acceptable that there's not a unified message on this foot war. I have my generals all over the fucking place trying to get ratings for themselves. If this show is going to succeed, we need to band together for one common. Like cause, like I can't have Dan saying, "Oh, we need to pass in," and all you guys posting feed pics, and then Moses all of a sudden coming out from the fucking, coming out from flanking me from left field. Like mm-hmm. this is just this is guys. We need to unify. This is outrageous. Wait, we need, guy together away. we fall. Oh, he died. Nine years eleven. Why? Wait, what happened? He died, so people came and boast boosted his foot score. Cameron. Yo, this guy passed away, and people come boost his foot score. Is that really what's going on? Oh, he's a Disney Channel actor. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. I mean, okay, rest in peace, but, like, that's just weird that people come boost his foot score in response to him dying. Well, I, we don't know if that's what happened. He wasn't on the scoreboard before. Oh. Shout out to his family. I, no, I know who's on the scoreboard. <laughs> Shout out to his family. <laughs> Yo, that's inappropriate. We're, hey, rest in peace, Cameron, boys. I don't, you know what I mean? Rest in peace. You live forever on the foot scoreboard shout out to his family Zach shout out to his family <laughs> not funny stop inappropriate but do you guys see what I'm saying like it's not funny Dan the show only succeeds when we all have a common purpose this is chaos this is mutiny this is not this, if you're gonna be my top general you have to fall in line sometimes bro you're trying like come on well, maybe if you can come on time, which is actually a comment I just saw. Oh, you want me to come? Okay. Maybe your rating will go up. <laughs> Ela. <laughs> All right. Well, th- hey, this got is got a good point. Jesus Christ. It's holding me to the fire here on this. Feet to the fire. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's just a little bit too much mutiny around here sometimes. Well,. So your concern is that one of us pass you, or your concern is somebody that's no. not part of the crew pass you? It's all dangerous. Do you understand that when united, you, we stand, divided, we fall, is my point. If we're going to rage this foot war, we can't be spreading our allegiances all over the place. There's one foot commander, and you guys being on the score, this scoreboard compromises all of our hard work. I don't really see how... I mean... Us being there doesn't interfere with your score. No, but you can't be like, oh, Moses is going to pass you, or AB, everybody vote for AB. Like, this is just, this. there's one foot commander. Do you understand? If I, We cannot compromise the security of this war. Well, for, okay, so first... You're going to lose. We all lose. Okay, first of all, this is, a, this is a fluid situation, okay? Because when that happened, AB, somebody had added AB. There wasn't Moses. There wasn't Zach. There wasn't me. There wasn't any of these other people that are trying to climb the leaderboard and all i said is that it would be funny if ab passed you because he was so concerned about it ab was like freaking out about like ethan's gonna be mad at me if i pass him i'm like well that would be funny then if we got him up there to pass you it's not a permanent thing who do you guys think you are well thanks do i need to review hold on it's funny do i need to review that i have 4,100 points. Okay? What's funny? No, I'm the foot god. You don't pass me. Okay? This is my foot throne. You've gone mad with power. Yeah. This is You've gone mad absolutely game. mad with power. And yeah, I'm willing to admit it. I'm working from the inside to bring you down. I'm a revolutionary. You will I'm never bring foot. me down. I, you understand? I'm going to collapse Do your you arch, understand? dude. I'm going to collapse your arch. A, B, A, got shit on me. It's like that Denzel Washington scene from <laughs> Training, Training Day. Day. 
He ain't got shit on me. <laughs> 4,100 five star rating. You forget yourself. You act like Moses is gonna f pass me. He has one tenth of the votes. You're by the North Now, I ask you all today, now, to pledge allegiance to me as your one true leader of the Foot Nation Army. So it's not a democracy? This is how, this is how wars happen. Do you understand? This is really how wars You're happen. We had this common, we had this common thing, and you guys got greedy. You all wanted foot clout. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you're on the board, and now we're all divided. I do you want to have your own foot nation? You, you, you weren't just happy way. being under and being under my surf. I was thumb. happy. Nobody, put, I didn't put myself you're, on there. You're like little finger. You're listen, causing trouble. You're trying to I'm create chaos. Like, I'm not like you know. I, you are I'm little not like, fingers. You know what? You're, you're like Joffrey. Bitch. You're like Joffrey. No, dude. I'm not. You got oh, insane shit. with power. No, I'm trying to keep this kingdom unified. Listen, it's like chess. Finger? We're protecting the king. See, you're the one going full. He's little foot. What, Ab? I said it's like chess. We're trying to protect the king. You're going a little Palpatine, though, bro. Going, I am the Senate. Yeah. <laughs> You're this out of control. Start. Listen to this. A, B, said, oh, I'm doing to protect you. Now, all of a sudden, when I'm like, yo, I don't like what's happening here. You're talking about, oh, I'm ready to go mutiny and make my own nation. And then what do I got to do? I got to go war with you. And I got to go war with you. And then all of a sudden, this nation we had unified strong, the top in the world, is now weak with war and attrition and infighting. I think and, you need to eat and then, in <laughs> and then in comes Moses. In comes uh, Cameron Boyce. I think you're in comes on like Tommy. It's stomach <laughs> acid right now. <laughs> in comes you're Joe cheating. Stengato. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the Foot Nation Army, which was the most impenetrable fortress on the planet, is now fallen to these fucking chups who never had a chance in the prime of our power because of people like Listen, Littlefoot over here. I, we are still on top. This is. <laughs> Classic. I'm paranoid saying. leadership. This is, this is, uh, this is Stalin in his late days. Stalin yet. or Hitler in their in their final days. Right. That's Enemies. probably what Stalin's people said. And all the me all around them behind in the back. shadows. You, the the you are plodding behind my back. back. And if this I was Stalin, I would kill you. I'm hitting the kill switch. This is equivalent to Julius Caesar finding out there's been betrayed. Yes. E, 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 e two Brutus. E two Dan. <laughs> no. Dan is the main perpetrator. You're He's no the Julius. You're no Julius. You're you no are Julius. Julius. You're oh, Judas. And I am Jesus. Okay, we're we're mixing up our metaphors here a little bit now. The point is, I'm the foot savior, and you all have fucking will bow to me. Messiah complex. <laughs> I think this is just the classic the story of, of Icarus. Ian, who do you pledge allegiance to? I don't. Ian, who do you pledge Ian. allegiance to? I'm, Ian, I'm, a, stand I'm up. a standby. Stand by on this one. See how it Ian, shakes please out. Stand up. I don't think what your reign is as, is as secure, though, as you might think. That's know. what I'm saying. This is not acceptable. <laughs> this is a full-on mutiny. Love, who do you support as your foot, as your foot soldier, or your foot god? You, of course. Thank you. No Love problem. gets promoted. You're all fired. Love is executive producer. I've always supported you. Oh, Zach, whoa, whoa, is, Zach is promoted. I've never wanted this mutiny to happen. Yeah, you Zach, you promoted. I bow down to you. Yeah, thank you. But, Zach, didn't you post the new picture just for Wikipedia no. fit secretly? No. First of all, no. I respect what yeah, Zach did. Zach did, uh -uh. Zach did it for a gag. Zach did it for a gag. There was never any meaningful <laughs> movement for him to pass me. And now I got you all talking about Mad King. You hear the Mad Kings. Wannabe Mad Kings. Zach, you're in. Love, you're in. Ian, you're in the fucking skull. What did they call that when you they put his prisoners in? Oh, gulag? Yeah, you're background. in the gulag. <laughs> you're in the fucking gulag, Ian. <laughs> yeah. I'm, j I'm just saying, this feels like how democracy... Yo, is. get that out of here. See, he was... He was, uh, he, he was Whoever said he was this neutral, was a democracy? But... I am the Senate. Yeah, you're going to the gulag, bro. Get that out of here. AB, bye you're bye. going to the fucking gulag. Your head is going on a pike. I just... I, you I, too, I, Dan. I've accepted... doesn't matter what I say. Just go ahead. Take my head. Well, somehow you're always at the center of some Look kind of mutiny. Fucking, Look at this simp. Just take my head, yeah. please. Please. For two weeks extend, in a row. Extend your, your, uh, your foot Dan, I'm going to cut your feet off. That's what I, I don't want to kill you. I just want to cut your feet off. <laughs> Two weeks in a row I was accused, I had evidence, and somehow 33% of people still think I'm guilty. So I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, Zach is compelling, though, because, look, Zach is 
Standing by. <laughs> All right, cut the shenanigans. Kill switch. <laughs> of course, this would turn into a full-on war. I mean, this is seriously how how I nations collapse. Uh, I know, Zach. You. I know you support me. You're loyal. When the histories are told, they will write to you as my loyal soldier. You don't. Why is your it, understanding it, is so twisted? Do you think it's okay that we keep it separated, men and women? I don't know what I mean. Hmm. It is so interesting because men get the full rating, but women don't. Yeah, your empire is not that progressive. Dan just passed AB on Wikifeet. <laughs> breaking alert, breaking, breaking. Oh, There's movement. We have movement. <laughs> Thank God. Uh -oh. See, I don't want to be. Dan, there, Dan, I, I, I self-reported my, uh, that post. I'm going to give Dan a, f you know what, Dan? You're going to get a taste of your own fucking medicine. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Report the post. Take Ethan, it you're down. Gonna regret that. Mass report. You know what? The one person I'd be fine with passing is Dan. Because gonna, Dan's got a bigger, bitter, jagged fucking bill to swallow. You want to know what it's like, Dan? Heavy lays the crown. It's your time to be number one with Whoa. these fucking bullshit pictures. Yeah, Dan. Your turn. Is this Dan? Is this report justified? No. <laughs> Wait, does it let me? Does it let me? I think uh, I already did it. Because I, I think you're logged oh, into my in. uh, my account here. Everyone vote no on that. That is a genuine Dan photo from a snuff film. <laughs> so weird. Do it live. I'm gonna take pictures of your feet, Dan, when you're not looking. Oh, I'll people never, are saying Dan I'll to never, number one. I'll never be caught flat-footed. <laughs> oh, man, this is dramatic. Guys, look at Alfredo. I want to talk Aww, about feet. Alfredo. <laughs> look at this guy. Get it? Al Can we get Alfredo on Wikifeed? <laughs> oh, Wikifeed <laughs> dog. Boy. Let's yeah, go. Let's Alfredo. I know it was you, Alfredo. Here, show your paws. Here, let's get it. I know it was you, Alfredo. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been a fun episode. Shout out to Taylor Lorenz. I feel like I'm saying her last name wrong, but it's spelled... Lawrence? Lawrence? No, I think, she... that, I think that was right. Here, she's Taylor Lawrence on Twitter. Mega she's a good follow. I like her. I'm, she's a good, you know. Dee hmm. Mega Doodoo. Well, it's Friday, so Friday. let's all go have a great weekend, okay? And we'll be back on Monday with a slammer a frenemy Friday, baby. with Jeff and talking about all this David stuff that's coming out. So that should be interesting. And uh, I'm getting a call. Let's see if I'm getting swatted. Hello? Oh, you Thanks for watching, everybody. Friday, baby, yeah! No. Yeah, baby! It's a problem! Friday, baby, yeah! Friday! Stay good, everybody. Be blessed. What'd you say? Be blessed. Oh, be blessed. You got me up here now. I thought you were saying some shit about my feet. <laughs> I know. I am going mad. I'm <laughs> telling you, you're the mad king, dude. You're going mad. <laughs> you're all going in the fucking gulag. Even you, Zach. I don't trust you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm mad. I've lost my mind. <laughs> That's what Stalin did, right? He killed everyone. I don't believe he killed everyone. Everybody! Everybody's no, like, dead. He killed so many people. He killed a few. Few? <laughs> he let's, killed like 20 let's wrap million. It up. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend. And we'll see you on Monday yeah. slash Tuesday. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Say good. Get vaccinated, guys. Support. You're listening to the HP podcast, where we got on the scene. Could it be Papa Shoe Nice or Bill Delphine? We're talking front wipe or back wipe. What you gonna do with me then? Enough. And the whole damn crew. Goose and gaps with all the guests you'll see. The best podcast in the world. Take it from me, JC. Over chair, HP baby. We podcast now. You're watching next to the three. three, three, three. You're watching next to the three. three, three, three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. Might drink some mayo while the incest on this.